بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello and welcome to Footy Judge Mo Why is he be smiling? Just remember About what? a month ago We sat here on this channel for an hour and a half Yeah Because Inter went out on penalties An hour and a half And he'll be All he did is put pictures of Inter and Atletico Madrid players on the screen But I'm not that mean I'm not going to do that I'm going to let Hussam do this Because they, before they get out our Atalanta But listen people Welcome to Footy Judge Mo I hope everybody is well on this day. Arsenal and Man City out of the Champions League, of course. The only thing left for Arsenal is the uh, title race. If there is one, Man City still play Chelsea in the Cup, in the FA Cup on Saturday. And uh, they're still going to have the, the Premier League. They are favourites now for the Premier League. Hit that like button if you're here. We're not going to do a long intro because we have so much to talk about. But uh, I want to welcome, of course, LB and Rory. And before we start, people... Our target is 300 to 400 likes live on the air now. So hit that like button if you just joined us. And if you're watching this on the replay, like the video before you go on and enjoy this. And also, Hussam will be joining us in 5-10 five, five, minutes. He said he's going to be late a little bit. Uh, and also, LB's channels, both of them, more LB and it's LB, are in the description. They're one click away. You don't have to do anything. All, all you have to do is click on that in the description and you can go to his channel. Brilliant content daily about City. And now he's going to do panel shows now and he's going to do a lot of work. And also Rory Talks Football in the description every day, 6.30 UK time. You catch Rory on his channel, of course, talking all things Arsenal. Of course, how are you two doing this morning? Is it Now, did it settle in now or did not? Go on, Rory. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 you know, it, it is what it is. It's settled in. I, I, yeah. Do you know what? I'm less angry about last night than I was about the Villa game. Like, the Villa loss came as a shock. Last night's loss, I didn't, ex I didn't predict we'd lose, but it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't crazy that we went and lost away in Munich. So it's more deflated than angry. I would say. Did you expect to win at, at the Allianz? I had a... I just... I felt Did like... you believe we... Robbie and the guys on AFTV when they like... I don't they literally them, took but... the flights, bro, and, and they went I... and then they, 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 they sold the dream to the fans. Yeah, um, I didn't see that, but I it felt... I felt like we might. I just felt like it might be something that we put off, that we'd bounce back from that Villa game. Um, but the second half was worrying, to be honest. The second half was worrying. It's okay. Like, I, I think Arsenal actually didn't play bad. And I said that yesterday. A lot of people came with this narrative that Arsenal failed. Yes, you failed. But you, I, I didn't think you were favourites at all, right? I didn't think you were favourites at all. A lot of people just want to banter Arsenal fans. But no, you, but bro, you had, people want to set up a narrative that they failed, like pretending that they were wrong. And then you just said that they failed. So, <laughs> No, no, no. You failed that you... They didn't go, of course, to the final. Anybody that is in the competition and didn't win the competition, they, they okay, they failed, right? But have they achieved their target? I thought a quarter final in the Champions League in the first year is, is good. It's not bad. There you go. Here comes the guy that is never going to tell us this. They're going to tell us Arsenal fans this and Arsenal fans that. We had, we had a small. Can you put me on the top row, please? Well, Let's fix this. Bro, you, you're like 3 0 down to Atalanta, bro. They lost to Bayern. Yeah, I'm out already. Forget These me. guys I'm lost to Real Madrid. Top. And you got to come here and tell me, put me top row. Mo, are you third in the league now? Oh, you have three. You're third in the league. league. I have six. Yeah, bro, I'm about to win the league against my big, my rivals, my city rivals on Monday. You're about to go out to pizza topping Atalanta, like in a couple of hours, bro. Like Hamza said, right? You're third in your league. Bro, your manager is leaving you. You're gonna go to the trenches, bro. You might not do done? content next year, bro. Just, just stop. I'm gonna pull you. I'm gonna pull you up because since Thank you me. don't have, you don't cry. Anyway, listen. Uh, LB. Hi, LB. Hello, yeah, bro. Hope you're a good, brother. Told you about hey. Walker. Big up Rory as well. You know, winning at the Allianz ain't for everyone, but we're here. Make sure, guys, they're liking and subscribing. Sorry, I was just a little bit late because I had something to do. But yeah, we're here. Okay, here is the, the narrative of today's uh, today's show. It's gonna be it's gonna be Hussam. 
like yesterday, I had, I had a big argument with Hussam yesterday about Arsenal. That he thought that Arsenal should have done this, should have done that. And I told him it's all right to go out of the Champions League in the quarterfinal against Bayern Munich away. He doesn't accept it. But for Manchester City, though, that's a massive L, bro, LB. That's a massive L. A massive L, bro. 3-3 at the Bernabeu to go to your ground. Vinny subbed out. They played nachos, cheese at the back, and he didn't win. Uh, Holland being taken out. Kevin De Bruyne being taken out. Bro, that's a massive L, to be honest. I don't know how you felt about it, to be honest. Objectively speaking, LB, did you feel uh, like you failed? It was like a chance missed, a big chance missed? Of course you failed, bro. The, the aim of the game is to win the competition. I mean, so yes, you failed. Like, we failed in our, in our task, but I'm not annoyed. Like, you know, we're coming up probably against the second best team in, in Europe, I think City are probably probably the favourites. Um, and we got knocked out on penalties. You know, if we would have... Our finishing this year has let us down time after time after time again. Yeah, that's been the major issue for us this year. Our finishing. It's been shocking. We finished our dinner yesterday. We go through. I mean, we had the chances to win, but we just didn't. You know, we played well. We dominated the game. We dominated the ball. We created chances, but we just didn't score. You know what I mean? So... I wasn't annoyed. It's like other up, other up, other games that we've been knocked out of the Champions League in the past. Liverpool, Spurs, Monaco, Lyon, Chelsea in the final. Like, I've been more annoyed because, like, we played bad or something's gone wrong. Whereas yesterday, we didn't play bad. We didn't play bad. We forced, we forced Real Madrid into a low block on the edge of our penalty area for 90 minutes and created chances to win the game. And didn't take him. I mean, that's, that's it. Like, I can't really moan much. Like, we failed. We failed in our task. We wanted to win the competition. It's what it is. Like, I'm not really that. I'm not dis. I'm not gutted. I'm gutted. I'm not, I'm not angry at all. I'm not angry at all. I'm disappointed. And I think the players will be very disappointed in themselves because they had the chances to win the game and do another treble potentially. But they let they, they let themselves down with the finishing. So yeah, I'm pretty calm, man. Like, I was pretty Can you chilling. Stop man. With the jokes. Can you stop with the jokes? Not saying mean, anything, Maul. Stop. Can you stop with Anta the stop antagonizing me. I am not the antagonist. I'm letting LB speak. I didn't even interrupt him. I think what the camera's got epilepsy stuck. in the chat, bro. You're gonna give him a fit I'm in the chat. Stuck. I think the camera's just stuck. I didn't even interrupt LB. Now you're being disrespectful. Go ahead, LB. Sorry for the rude host. No, nah, bro. I'm literally chilling, man. Like literally, I'm not even angry, bro. Like yesterday, even after the game, I wasn't angry. I was just disappointed that the players let themselves down with the finishing. The only thing I was angry about was our penalty. Um, Bernardo, just Bernardo, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not even angry at Bernardo. I'm just annoyed that he took a penalty in the first place. Because I said in the, I said in the game, if we get to penalties, do not let Bernardo Silva take a penalty because he's not a penalty taker. And he took one and took the worst penalty you've ever seen. So uh, I'm not annoyed. I'm, like, I'm pretty chill. I'm actually really calm. Like I was, I've, uh, other game. Why, does, I, every, why does it look like, why does it sound like it? You keep, like, why, right? Am I wrong? Am I the only one here that doesn't I'm sound? chilling, bro. Honestly, go watch my match review, man. I'm chilling. I was proper calm. Like, I'm not angry at all. On the player rating today, you were a little bit mad. Just a little bit. At what? What was I mad at? The KDB topic. The KDB topic? I wasn't mad at KDB. No, you were mad that people are saying like he's going to stay here for long and you think Walker is the one who should stay for no, long. No, but that wasn't that about... No, 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 that's not what I said. That's not what I said. What, no, what, what, what I said about is... the athleticism of the player, basically. Yeah, no, that, yeah, but that's not nothing to do with yesterday. I'm saying that there are some City fans that think KDB will play at City till he's like 38, which I said is not true. He'll have I actually one more think year it's possible, him. LB. No, I don't think it's possible. I don't think Kyle Walker can. Kyle Walker's an athlete. He'll play top level no, football. Like your athleticism goes down with age. Football IQ doesn't. Yeah, yeah, but, but 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 just move. I think Walker could move to a centre back when when his when his speed drops. He's played there before. Oh, absolutely not. You would get rinsed. By the way, yesterday yesterday's game proved me I'm north side's point. There was a reason me and him agreed on the Kyle Walker point. The only goal you conceded was his fault. Now you're simply talking about athleticism. I'll just say this: LB, there's no agenda. I'm not blaming Walker why you why you lost the game because it was lost. First of all, it's just it's just something that's just evading my mind. Who was the guy that it was Bernardo and Kovacic who missed penalties, right? Who was the third mm -hmm. guy? Was there a third guy? Nah, no, just no. There it. wasn't a third guy. So so Ederson scored his penalty and Alvarez scored his penalty, mm -hmm. and that's it. After that, yeah, after that it was done basically. Um, here's here's the thing: defending is a lot more than just pace and power. And at the start of the season, me and you had an argument, and I told you Trent is actually better defensively than Walker. 
because I just think physical attributes are something, but actually knowing how to defend is something else. Yesterday, the goal that Real Madrid scored, Kyle Walker plays them on side, proceeds to make one of the worst tackles in, 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 in the history, just like literally just like strutting around like a flamingo and just diving on the pitch unnecessarily, and then Real Madrid score. I just think Kyle Walker, from a like defensive IQ perspective, is not is not is not smart. I think it's it's genuinely just physicality that helps him get by. So essentially, yesterday's game basically says that if you get any fast and strong right back in the world, you can you can replace Kyle Walker, which I don't think is necessarily something that's that's very difficult. I think defending is very important, and I agree with with what LB said. By the way, Manchester City dominated Real Madrid yesterday. But it's normal because this is just what, what, what you have to do against Pep. I was one of the few people that didn't criticize Arsenal. I said it's a good result, it's a good performance because when you play at, at, at the Etihad, you cannot go gung-ho. If Real Madrid even attempted attacking, they'd get destroyed on the counter-attack. That's why they limited Haaland. We thought Haaland was poor yesterday. I actually thought KDB was good. There was one goal he should have scored, the one which I think was like on the half volley, that one he should have scored. But other than that, I thought he was actually a creative, creative spark. But the guy that me and Mo both agree was the absolute worst player on the pitch is one of Manchester City fans' favorite player, and that's Jack Grealish. He is the most boring winger in world football. You don't know I've ball. never seen a winger be more boring my whole life and attempt fuck all in a game of football like Jack Grealish. This guy got the ball, stared at the fullback for a period of 17 seconds, and then just passed the ball back. Jeremy Doku came on. He attempted 10 different things. Five of them didn't work. But the one that did work led to a goal. Like, I prefer people who actually take risks and apply risks. And something comes off of it. And by the way, Doku done a lot of stuff yesterday that didn't work. But at least he dribbled past Carvajal. He crossed the ball into the box. He formed some form of creativity for Manchester City in the final third that they were lacking. People need to understand, paying 100 million for a winger that all he does is keep the ball and pass the ball back I, I, I'm not, I'm sorry, I cannot get on that train. I am fully off the train and I think he was genuinely one of the worst players. And by the way, that's why Pep took him off. Even though Pep gets a hard on from possession, he even took him off. That tells you all you need to know because he is just, he just cannot impact a game like this. Grealish is brilliant when you play, you know, Wolves and Luton and shit so you can keep the ball and dominate and box them in. But in a game like this, he just doesn't work. It just does, doesn't work for me. And I think yesterday proved it because Pep, who doesn't even like Doku, and Doku, he gave him 90 minutes against Luton, brought him on. And Doku, as soon as he came on, dribbled past Carvajal, crossed the ball, shooting, getting involved in the game. And there were so many chances. Me and Mo yesterday, we had the moment on the watch along where it's like, Grealish had the ball with Bellingham looking at him. Bellingham is playing as the striker for Real Madrid. He's a midfielder, we know. We know this, but he's a more offensive midfielder. He can't defend. Like, Bellingham is not someone you look at and think, oh, he's such a great defender. Grealish looked at Bellingham for 12 seconds and then just passed the ball back. This is the thing that I'm talking about. I prefer players who take risks. I need I, if, if you take risks, I think you can actually create something in, in a game like this. But at the end of the day, you went out on penalties, so we can't go too, too ham on you. However, I do think your result as a prism is worse than the Arsenal one because you were at home. And you're against the Real Madrid side that isn't as strong as the sides we have seen over the last five, six years. You know, respectfully, we're talking about Lunen, Carvajal, who's about 80. You know, we're talking about a team that isn't that good. I think their midfield is their strongest attribute, still Real Madrid. But I'll other than that... Bro, I don't get this, this thing about Real Madrid being weak. Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, Bellingham, Not Valverde, weak. Cruz, Camavinga. Come on, man. What are you talking about? It's a very, very solid team. You're naming midfielders, which I agreed with you on. Rudiger. Carvajal's a solid player. I don't know what you're waffling about. No, being solid and like actually being incredible is two different things. This is not Real Madrid from Carvajal three years would walk into most Premier League sides. Not my side. Oh, because Trent's the, the be all and end all in Liverpool, isn't it? And we know this. Like, it is what it is. There you are. There but no, I'm chilling, man. Listen, you can cut Greenish all you want. The fact is, I thought Greenish played really well yesterday. I thought Greenish gave us gave us give us options, created space. Well, you have to say something side. now. See? Here. No, but Mo, we Mo predicted, an we predicted LB like would say this. Yeah, no, of course, of course you would, because you knew that you'd, you'd come from our players who I'm going to defend. But ultimately, I know Mo know, Mo's got an agenda against Grealish. He said it before, he don't like Grealish. He don't like him as a football player. So he's always going to he's always going to slag him off whenever something goes wrong. 
I thought Grealish was one of our best players yesterday before I can he got explain, LB. I can explain objectively. I don't need you to explain. You've explained it for plenty of times. I don't want you to but, explain. Oh, I've got to go off camera. I'm, I don't want to explain. Oh, I'm done. I don't well, you're gonna, all you're going to do is repeat the same thing that, that, that Hussam says. So you don't, you don't no, really I'm need to. No, I'm actually not. I'm just going to I'm just gonna, I'm gonna explain it in a bit. This is what Pep Guardiola did to football. Pep Guardiola, this is what he did to football since he came to in 2008. He actually told people and made people believe that a winger, that you can pay 100 million for a winger that a pop, 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 pass back for the whole game. And people clap and think this is football. While Doku, and this is this is a difference. Like I am actually praising Doku. I say Doku, you would not have scored if it wasn't for Doku taking risks. Doku attempted fact. Doku attempted nine dribbles right in forty two minutes, while Jack Grealish played seventy minutes, attempted one actual dribble. The difference in football is that Pep Guardiola literally told people, and because it's a working system, LB, I'm not gonna. The guy is a genius. The guy is a genius because his system worked. He won five league titles, right? But he made people believe that someone like Jack Grealish is better than Doku. You, Martin, Nobbins, I sit with you guys, right? You guys, all of you sit here and tell me one thing, but Doku keeps the ball and Doku gets defender and Doku never, never passes the ball wrong. Football as a winger isn't about this. We can get a lot of people around the world that will play in a pep system and they can, they can pass the ball back. The likes of Lorizani, the likes... Of uh, of even I'm gonna say someone like I I, I can like uh, Lewis Diaz for example he's not a great player they take Doku for example takes risk you would not have scored yesterday if Doku didn't take it on his shoulder and say well screw this keep the ball thing I'm just gonna go at the defender sterilize yeah, him but, but, you, you you're ignoring ignore so many other factors let now. me let me just finish the thing about it and then comes Man City fans and then when Jack Grealish scores a goal they say see he scored the goal. If that's the norm, if someone like Jack Grealish regularly scores the goal, I will sit here and admit that I'm wrong. But it's a flash in the pan. He doesn't score. He's not a goal-scoring winger, for example. So what does Jack Grealish do? He keeps the ball. I give you that. He keeps the ball. Keeps the ball and pass space. He creates space for other players on the edge of the penalty area. A hundred million. We literally won the The treble play in that way. Exactly. And Jack Grealish is the only guy on that side that if I look at that side, I say, you are very replaceable. I get, I can get any winger and I can tell the winger, stand on the line. And when I get you the ball, do this with outside the foot and pass the ball back. Yeah, you keep the ball. 100%, 100% pass accuracy. 100% pass accuracy. Fantastic, right? Pep Guardiola is a genius. He can actually get me and he can teach me how to keep the ball and pass the ball back, right? He's a genius like this. But to get someone like Doku to take risk. We, I actually, I like the sport of football back in the days when I was a kid because football is exciting. Football is unexpected. Football is an unpredictable sport. Pep Guardiola changed football forever. He made people think that keep the ball for 95% of the game is the aim of the game. Yes, he wins. But it's boring. It's boring. It's genuinely boring for the neutral. It's great. I would love to have Pep Guardiola. LB, people think that I don't like Pep Guardiola. I would love to have Pep Guardiola on my team. Love it. I would love it. Why? Because I know I'll win. I will definitely win. But to watch and defend someone like Jack Grish because he keeps the ball and pass back, I think this is just, it's Pep Guardiola putting in your mind that this is what football is. What we've football is, what Jack Doku Grish is doing. so much this year, bro, that you don't even understand. In all the big games we played this year, Jack Grish hasn't played. We failed to win any of them. Yeah? He helps us in the big games. We won because the he keeps with the him. ball? Yes, because he keeps the ball and does and really be, well. You would spe- not have scored like and reached penalties yesterday if it wasn't for Doku. Oh my God. Risk. Okay, then. Okay, then let's talk about every other game against the top six this year then when Jack Grealish hasn't played and Doku has played. Yeah, but I get what Doku's doing. You guys... Okay, let me just explain to you something. Everything that you guys say is true as a City fans. That Doku will attempt 10 crosses, will complete three. I get you. Martin always told me this, right? Martin always told me... But which winger in the world that completes more than 50% of their crosses? Not a lot, right? The difference is he attempts the crosses. He terrorizes the defense. Bro, yesterday, Bellingham literally in that boulder house. I went mad, bro. You know why? Bellingham, an attacking midfielder, told everyone around him not to come and cover Jack Grealish. He's like, I got this. This guy's not dribbling. This guy's not attempting to dribble. When Doku came on the pitch, they literally tried the whole plan for Manchester City, and let me tell you the difference. Doku, in 40 minutes, LB, 
touched the ball more than Jack Grealish did in 70 minutes. Right? More. And Real Madrid, they had everything to stop Doku. By the way, every I know Rory didn't watch the game. I, 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 like, I know. But everyone in the chat can tell me. Doku, right, came on. Real Madrid, they did everything to stop this guy and they couldn't. I am literally praising your player. They that's someone that makes, that makes something happen, bro. Doku makes something well, happen. Yeah, but you're yeah, but you missing the point. The fact is, we've got options. We've got Doku who oh, can yeah. do that. But you don't want him doing that in every game. You don't want him doing that in every game. And sometimes you need someone like a Jack Grealish, especially in the big games. To do what? To do what? To hold the ball, to, to bring other players into the game, to create space for our midfielders. But anybody can do this, LB. Anyone. What is this about? Yeah, to be fair, why did you... If you look at what Jack Grealish was before you signed him and then you spent 100 million on it him... It was a Doku. It wasn't he a was Doku. More like, this is he a was more like Doku, though. He was he, he was a player that... He the, never got goals and assists. About his game. No, but he would drive at players and take three or four players on. He, he would do that regularly. That was what people loved about him. So, like, did you spend 100 well, million a on a winger? Glory. No, I know he was. But did you spend 100 million on a winger just so that they can recycle the ball? Which is which is he's good at it, fair, but like a hundred million for that. Well, I, th I think I think you're playing it down. You know, I mean, clearly he brings something to the team that you're you guys are just you know you're saying that all he does is get the ball and pass back. That's all he did. I don't think Pep Guardiola would pick him. So he clearly does more than that. And at Villa, he had a free roll. He literally said in an interview that he'd done with City a couple of weeks ago that at City when he was there, Dean Smith or whatever the guy called, literally just used to tell him to go out there and just go wherever he wanted and just get on the ball. He's not going to do that, City. I mean, but, no one, to, but no one can ever explain. You say okay, he must. He obviously does more than that. But no one can ever really explain what it is that he does. But, it's but not do goals I need to assists. explain it? Do I need to explain it though? When the proof's in the pudding. But is yeah, the, really is the proof in the pudding? Yes, yeah, we want a treble. Yeah, but that's uh, yeah, not how it works. The rest Ortega of your team was also treble. elite. So, so, so we want to we want a treble with ten players. Then is that what we're saying? We will, we, is this the greatest LB. football with achievement someone that just, With someone that never loses the ball. So that, like, Jack, we never said that Jack, bro, Jack Grealish is a professional football player that is very talented. I can't believe we never, today we never of all said, days when he was one of our best players to actually that's bring what, this up. That's the, that's the difference between us. One of your best players. The game. He was one player your best player. He didn't do anything. He just kept he the ball. He was very good. He was very, very good. He was very good. Very good doing what? Name me one thing he's done all game long. It was just a good performance. What does that mean? What's How? a good performance for Jack Grealish? What is a good performance? Oh, oh, well, in the 60th minute, he done this. He done, it was a great performance. He done a really, really good performance That's not the yesterday. point. That's not the point, LB. I can name you right now a, a player that I thought had a good game, Kevin De Bruyne. Forget the goal. I thought he got involved. He, he was very creative for your team. He took. He attempted shots at goal. He had the most dangerous chances for your team. I'm not asking you to name a Akanji. specific moment. Akanji. Akanji. Was Akanji. Was Akanji. Akanji. And the crazy thing about that De Bruyne performance is that I saw a stat, a stat this morning. He lost possession a record number of times for any player in any Champions League knockout game last night. But you watched the game, Rory? Still... Looks very good. Exactly. Yeah. That's it's quite funny, actually. It's quite funny you say that. Because I actually thought KDB was very poor yesterday. See, that we watch football different than anybody that... Okay, here is, here is that, that. To be honest with you, this is it, LB. Which is nothing... There's nothing against anybody. Like, I love you guys all, and I love Man City, I have nothing against the club, right? But that's the difference between what happened when Barcelona fans, when Pep Guardiola coached Barcelona. Everyone was saying, what are you doing? And Barcelona fans were like clapping and saying, because they win. Does that make sense, LB? We watch football differently now, the Man City fans. Until you get a different coach, you would not understand what we're talking about because you guys oh, are so winning. What did, what did Kevin and you guys, you're well probably, then? arguably, you guys are right, right? Everything. You know what? We cannot argue you're with you because fans. you guys won the game. What did he do? What did he do well then, Kevin De Bruyne? I didn't think Kevin De Bruyne particularly played okay, very well. I'll tell you why Kevin De Bruyne had a good game. Your only creative spark had your most dangerous chances, actually made attempts at goal from far at Lunen, by the way, who is a, even like an incredible keeper or anything. He was the only person that I was... When, when, okay. When Manchester City got the ball in the final third, the only guy that I thought, okay, could do something for, for, for Manchester City is KDB. Now, the thing is, you guys, as Manchester City fans, obviously, because you've been brainwashed, you think a good game is essentially keeping the ball and not losing the ball and all that No, it's shit. not at all. No, it's not. No, no. Stop, stop that, Hussar, because that's not fair. You said Kevin De Bruyne played well. Now, Had a, a good ago, game? No, a minute ago, you was really disingenuous to asking me to, to say, what did Grealish do? 
But I'm not going to sit here and say in the 67th minute, this is what he did. I'm asking yeah, but you. I'm not asking you a specific moment. No, I'm I've asking you, you, I'm asking you a specific. Done. What did KDB do well? Okay, no I'll big chances like created. Done. No, no, like no key, hang on a minute. No key passes in the game. No big chances mm -hmm. created. He had an ex mm -hmm. expected assist of 0 0.02. So what did he actually do well in the game? You're the one who's telling me he's had a good game and telling me that Grealish was bad yesterday when it was the other way around. And City okay, fans are saying that KDB didn't have a great game. Think. KDB had a good game. First of all, I'm not asking you to name moments, Elby. I'm not telling you minute 62, Grealish done this. That's not what I'm asking for. I'm asking for an overall perspective. Kevin De Bruyne yesterday, anytime he got the ball in the final third, Real Madrid were shitting themselves. The reason why he had no key passes, context, Real Madrid were in a low block. So because Real Madrid were in a low block, you are never going to get key passes. You cannot get key passes when the other team is in a low okay. block. So what did he All do then? Your solutions are either a shot from far or a cross or stuff like that. Now, Kevin De Bruyne, anytime he got the ball, his delivery is in behind. I, I think Erling Haaland was, yesterday was the one that I thought probably had the worst game out of them because I think he'd never get involved at all. And he was the one to attempt shots from outside the box which actually troubled Real Madrid in the in the second half when the second half first started. I believe he had the most dangerous chance of the game when it was like 25 yards almost, just across from the penalty box, weak-footed shot, and Lunen saved it. They get, ended up giving it as a as a goal kick. Should have been a corner, but that's that's the thing that I'm saying. He was the one to actually attempt to damage the to damage Real Madrid in the final third. Anytime he got the ball, I thought something was going to happen. So that's that's basically what I said. And Real Madrid thought the same way because if you noticed yesterday. When KDB had the ball, there were two Madrid players ready. Ready. As soon as KDB has the ball on his feet, you had Kamavinga and Cruz, or Kamavinga and the right back, or Kamavinga and the right centre back. They were there ready because they knew he was the real only threat, you know? And by the way, his positioning when he scored the goal, I know you can say Rudiger made a mistake, which is fair. Of course he made a mistake. But I'm saying his positioning for the goal, for him to be in that position to begin with, shows me that Kevin De Bruyne was actually pushing to score a goal. Like he was trying to get involved in the game. When it comes to Jack Grealish, I'm not saying, okay, LB, tell me, minute 63, he done this. No, that's not what I'm asking for. I'm simply saying, what did he do in the game to affect it in a way which helps Real Madrid win, uh, sorry, Manchester City win, other than just keep the ball? Yesterday, all I saw from Jack Grealish was keep the ball. He even attempted two shots, and both of them were pathetic shots attempted. One of them was straight at Lunen, and the other one as well was on the counter-attack when Haaland played them through, and it was again straight at Lunen, right in front of goal. So those are two, 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 you know, situations there where he could have done something. So that's the example that I'm giving. I thought KDB was dangerous all game long. The reason why I can't name you specifics is because from minute zero till KDB was subbed off, he was dangerous. So that's that's the thing. Okay. Do we Bye. blame Pep? Do we blame Pep at any point? Do we look at Pep's Champions League record with Bayern and City and question whether he is a Champions League manager? No, it's a no. good question. He coached a win yesterday. It's not my, it's not his fault. The players missed the shots from like in four yards. Like Kevin De Bruyne, that had a shot yesterday from seven yards. He blazed over the bar. He scores at like every other game. Foden had a couple of chances. Greeley should have done better on a chance or two. Like we had the chances to win the game. Like he coached a win. So did like, Ancelotti there. Well, I actually have to claim LB. City, would have, City, City could were have the better been, team yesterday. There's no LB. doubt about that. But also, you could have been, should have been. From a defensive at one, perspective, at one nil, like, at 1-0, at 1-0, I think Real Madrid had two good, very good chances where Vinicius Jr. literally had the ball to, had the goal at his mercy and completely like shot. I think Edison saved that one at 1-0. I'm not saying that City played bad. I'm just saying at yesterday's game, the game could have been managed better. It could, like... I know Real Madrid, people, how, people well, kept, how, how I'm going to tell you, you people that? kept, me and Hassan were doing the watch along. People kept saying that Real Madrid camped in their area. Not in the first half, though. Me and Hassan were doing the watch along. Real Madrid were trying to press. In the first half, yeah, they the created half, actually a couple of chances. The, LB, in the, in the second half, Real Madrid went back to, it was 20 something percent pole position. But in the first half, it was like 55, 45 or something like this, or 57, 43, something like that. It wasn't that Real Madrid camped from the first minute. It wasn't. Both teams, by the way, were trying a little bit to press higher. I'm not saying that City failed. Losing to Real Madrid on penalty is not a complete failure. However, I thought you were the superior team yesterday. You had all your players fit, most of them. I don't know, Aki is the only one that wasn't fit yesterday. Real Madrid didn't have defenders. The goalkeeper, Lunin, was there, right? 
He's the third goalkeeper. They don't have a striker. This is the Real Madrid in transition, by the way. The fact that they're top of La Liga, this this team lacks a striker. It's because still... La Liga is bad. <laughs> they lack a striker. This team, in, in the midfield yesterday, Tony Cruz played the whole game. I'm not saying Tony Cruz is bad, but Tony Cruz is older defensively. He Tony is Cruz older. didn't play the whole game. He got subbed off. He got, okay, he started the game. Okay, and Modric came on at the end. My point is Man City should have won the game on paper. I actually said yesterday on the football terrace, I said I would be more surprised if Real Madrid win against Man City than if Arsenal win against Bayern Munich. Be, not because Real Madrid are... Like, it's not about the name. He gave Madrid a 20% chance, basically. Yeah, I give Madrid. And in the game, Man City should have won the game, in my opinion. But anyway, long story short, I know that because you kept the ball, and this is another thing about Manchester City, it's another way of looking at football, another different way. Because you had the ball the majority of the time, nobody can criticize Man City. No one. Because that's the end. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Again, you're being disingenuous. I don't, I don't think you should go, go down ahead. that road. You can criticize as much as you want. I just think you're criticizing the wrong things, which is quite surprising. Tell us what we should criticize then. Haaland? I'm quite surprised. Yeah, you should have criticized Haaland. You had an open, you had an open door at criticizing Phil Foden, who did very little yesterday. You didn't take that. So, so what, you, what, gonna, you, see, I don't what, what, what you do want to do is, what you want to so, do is you want to run your agendas, but actually by doing that, you, you're missing actually, if clear, you have clear agenda, home runs. You LB, LB. No, because you've... you've me you've and Hossam about, sit here. Oh, sorry, hang on a minute. Can I, can I speak? Can I speak? Yeah, on? Go you, you, right. you, you have a clear agenda against Grealish. You've moaned, you've moaned about him plenty, plenty of times. All right. You could have come on in and had home runs and I couldn't have defended Haaland. You've not mentioned him. You could have you could have gone at Phil Foden, yeah, which would have hurt me, but you didn't. You could have a home run there because he didn't do anything either. All you want to do is just press your agendas. Speaking about possession this and, and Jack Grealish this. We had 33 shots yesterday. We beat them on. We, we had, they had one shot in the second half. One. You know, we absolutely battered them. The only reason we got knocked out yesterday is because our finishing let us down. If you wanted to speak about performances, you should have spoke about Erling Haaland. You should have spoke about Phil Foden. But I'm afraid we're out of time, innit? We're going to have to move on to Arsenal. So, yes. That, before we move on, I'm going to I'm gonna answer you. Chat. Actually, it's the other way. If me and Hussam, okay, hold on. If me and Hussam lit, really want to do agenda, we would actually criticize Foden and Holland. Because me and Hussam do and shows Pep. when we criticize, you know that LB. If we wanted to do agenda, we would have started questioning Foden, but we didn't. You know why? I'm not gonna scapegoat the youngsters, right? The youngster. When when Bernardo, when, sorry, when Kevin De Bruyne is there, when Rodri is there. When Jack Grealish, the older guy, is there. When Kyle Walker is there. The you definition me, Kyle Walker, agenda, the LB, definition of agenda is me and Hossam coming here and scapegoating the youngster Foden. No, it's if not. Me and no, it's not. Here, that's, just, that's absolutely not what it is. You have an agenda against Jack Grealish. You've admitted in the past you don't like him. You no, don't but understand. But if we want one agenda, we would have found the one that is... You know, what, you know what's trending now? Phil Foden and Holland. We would have run this agenda because but, because you should that's what you should be speaking about. Prove my point. It lets actually prove proves my that point. We are in running agendas that we actually speak. No, in you're, you're pushing your agenda is against Jack Grealish. So that's what you're pushing. Even though everyone else, all City fans are saying Jack Grealish played well. Yeah. So, Only so City you, fans. yeah, because we're watching week in, week out. And we I, I'm and, and then you go and say, look at what's trending. Foden and who else? Haaland. And we, so we didn't want to talk about this. We could have you know, Rory's, you know, Rory's question, LB, is where the true agenda lies. Because in the last 10 years, Pep Guardiola was favorite for every single one of them, and he won one Champions League. You want to talk agendas? I could do agendas Champions, all day long. The best team you want to do agendas? I'm, I'm, I'm the king of agendas. I actually gave an objective opinion on the game, and you're telling me I'm running an agenda. I'm not running an agenda at all. Foden, we already know he disappears in big games. The same thing you, you get me. Brentford and Brighton and shit, that's his cup of tea. We understand. But we're when we're talking about... If you want me to do agendas, there's a Pep agenda I can run. There's a Foden agenda I can run. Weren't you the same one that said Saka rise? Why didn't Foden rise? See, I could play. I could play along to your agenda stuff. I could go on and on and on with this agenda talk. Kyle Walker can't defend. Kyle Walker's crap. Ederson is a shit goalkeeper. He should have saved that first Rodrigo one. See, there you are. I could do multiple agendas. But I've actually given criticism to a City player that has received... I've given praise to a City player that has received a lot of criticism, which is KDB. So I've actually defended your greatest ever player, and I've actually called it out as it is because you have been brainwashed to think keeping the ball is a good thing and sustaining attacks. That just, those are just buzzwords. All I'm saying, LB, is 
Grealish got the ball yesterday in dangerous positions 100 times. I'm not saying dribble every time. I'm just saying make an attempt. Try to do something, LB. That's not too much to ask for. Try, just attempt. And if it doesn't work, who gives a fuck? They're in a low block anyway. How is Jude Bellingham defending you and you pass the ball back? Come on, LB. If Mo Salah tomorrow against Atalanta has like, I don't know, Skamaka defending him and he ends up passing the ball back, I'd be just as mad. Because yeah, you, you're literally but, but, but against no one. Let, with all due respect, player. with all due respect, no one's setting up in a low block against your football team. So that's the reason why. <laughs> that's that's a lie. No one, no one, no one, no one sets week, up man. in a low block against Liverpool. Everyone goes, we, oh, let's we take them against low blocks. Crystal most Palace most came to Anfield and went, you know what? Let's go all, let's go all out attack and go for it. You know what I mean? Crystal you know, Palace didn't set in a low block. City and Arsenal, we get low blocks week in week out. You get open no, end to end football. Have you flip flopped again? Is no, Arsenal more it's dangerous it's than Liverpool now? Your 17th flip-flop of the season. He gets Arsenal, are, Arsenal are a better team than Liverpool. Oh, there you go, then. See, yeah, that's how I know your head's gone. Your head's fully gone. I'm, he I'm just said, chill, bro. He just said Crystal Palace did not set up in a low block against us when they had, like, five goal line clearances all when they were playing in a low block. Goal line clearances doesn't mean they're in a low block, bro. Yeah, listen, Crystal Palace played attacking, exciting football but we just couldn't take advantage you're right you're right <laughs> your head's gone i can't lie to you. your head's gone listen i'm not a real madrid no, I'm, I'm actually, actually, I'm actually right. Right. Oh, 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 last, I'm last question legit, to lb so last question to lb was this a chance missed for you for another treble of course it was we should have won the game the better team okay you need to practice penalties as well by the way i think there's a level of arrogance that you never think you're going to go to penalties so you don't practice them because you stink at penalties you, we, we beat you in the Community Shield, and your penalties in that were awful. And then you've done the same thing against Real Madrid. So, a small detail. Uh, it's, Pets it's, normally, Ed, Ederson did his Pets, job, to be honest. Ederson Pets saved normally, oh, and Ederson, scored. Yeah. And yeah. scored the, probably arguably one of the best penalties in them all. Yeah, the thing is with the penalty shootout is it's like I don't I don't really understand the selection of the penalty takers. That's the only thing that annoyed me yesterday. Like actually, being serious, I wasn't angry at all yesterday. I was just like a bit disappointed, but I wasn't angry. It was not like when we got beat off of like the other times we got knocked out of the Champions mm. League. I was angry. Yeah? Yesterday, I was just like we we should have won like with a better team. It's just disappointing. But the I don't know why Bernardo Silva st stepped up to take a pen. I, I said it in the game before we even got to the penalty shootout. Why is he like, don't get don't let him take one. Like, Gavardio would have been a better option. Rodri would have been a better option. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure why he stepped up. But listen, these things happen. It's, it's a penalty shootout. We actually have a better Champions League. I'm sorry, we actually have a better penalty shootout record than Real Madrid. Um, it's just, it's what it is. Like, it's, you lose on penalties. Hold it, innit? Is Guys, it almost 800 people here. Can we get, we aren't even on 200 likes. Hit that like button, people. We're moving on to Arsenal. It's very simple, guys. About 750 of you here. At least 400 likes. Guys, underneath your live chat, the like button. Come on, let's get us to 300, 400 likes. Come on, Ryan is saying there are City fans. I'm going to move LB so he can cover his face. There are City fans saying that they were amazing last night. They didn't create much at all, in my opinion. Haaland was invincible again. KDB barred the goal was poor. They created some, but I... We, I, we, we created enough chances to win the match. I get what you're saying, 100%. You, you no, did. No, no. Ryan, so no did Real, in Madrid. my opinion, so did Real Madrid when they were 1-0 up. Yeah, well, well yeah, they, they had chances as well, but we had, we had our chances to win the game. And, By the and way, I disagree with the stem on the Kyle Walker thing. Without Kyle Walker, Vinicius would have had two clear this, opportunities this is on why, the goal. Exactly. This is why, like, yes, he was at fault for the goal, but he probably vent, he probably prevented another. Twice. Two one and ones one. for Vinny yeah, no, Two agree. one and one. You know what? You know which ones I'm talking about. When you had the high line, and what Mo does, ladies and gentlemen, he'll open up this can of worms, and then three minutes later, he'll be like, "Just yeah, so yeah, you we're can doing have that. We're work. doing that. We have we're to move on to that. Arsenal. We have to move on to Arsenal. We have to move on to Arsenal. Uh, do you want to let this go, or do you want to open it up? Choose. But nah, then let, I'm gonna speak go. for half an hour. Choose. Let it go, bro. Let it go. Exactly. So why you're upset, Sam? Why you're upset? No, because every time you misrepresent, you are very, you are very, you are very. You want me and LB to fight? That's basically your, your. No, actually, okay. Forget LB. Here we go. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Here you go. Forget LB. Here you go. LB is off the camera now. LB is not the problem. You are the problem. LB is off the camera now. LB is not the problem. You are the problem. Your agenda. It's your it agenda. has nothing to do with LB. Leave LB it's out. It's your of this. agenda. You are the problem. This, not him. You don't want because I know what you're doing. You Literally, just three want... minutes later, he's going to go like LB knows you exactly. Just, three minutes you later, just he's go want... like, we have to move on to Arsenal. No, no, no. We don't have enough time. We have to move to Arsenal. 
let it go then. You let just, you just, all Let you want go. to do Alas, is Kyle you want Walker to have this agenda because, oh my God, Kyle Walker couldn't defend Kyle the goal. Maldi, he prevented Maldi. two one-on-ones, two one-on-ones by his pace and power. Funny, because the ball was played behind. And he still doesn't get it. The problem is not whether he can run in behind. Me and Northside debated with LB and we told him defensively, Kyle Walker is a weakness. No, and that's factually, wrong. That's he wrong. was the reason... Factually, he's the reason he conceded goals. We all know he has pace. My mom knows Kyle Walker has pace and she doesn't okay. even watch football. That's and, not the and, point. And he's, he's been used. Wow. The ball was played in behind and Walker ran and he's quick. Who would have thought he's been quick fucking 15 what does that years? Mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't, I don't get what you're saying now. LB You're argument. waffling now, bro. You're waffling. No, what I are told you saying LB now? Yesterday, the argument, I've already explained this to you yesterday, and you're being disingenuous. I told you the not. LB I, argument. Same exactly. Same not, same said, yesterday. Okay, خلص, 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 here, speak by yourself. خلص. I'm not, I, wallah, I won't respond to the other Walker argument. خلص, I'm done. I'm doing super chats. I won, guys. He's rattled. I'm, I won. He's done. He's smoking. He's rattled. He's done. And that was not my goal. I just said a word. I about Kyle Walker yesterday, yesterday. خلص, I'm, I'm gonna be silent. Do you want to have your last say as normal? No, no, no. I, I said oh, no, I won't speak on Walker. خلص, خلص, go ahead. Uh, LB 1998 is saying City made Madrid look like Luton Town. How it's an L. Here is, like Luton Town, here, is, here is a City fan. Here is a City fan. People, man, honestly, bro, it's their defense is part of the game. And Chilotti plays defensive football. He's been playing defensive football before you were born. You're born in 1998. He's been playing defensive football since 1990. He's been a manager for a long ass time. Stop thinking there's only one way to play football. Okay? You did not make them look like Luton Town. They chose to play in a low block. First half, it was a 50 50 game. They had just as many dangerous chances. When you're 1 0 up at the end, you had shock horror. You parked the bus. Who would have thought? Other than the, like, the other 100. Like Hamza yesterday. Day. Hamza yesterday told me oh, that. We had Why didn't Real Madrid come out? I told him, Congratulations. until Keep minute 70, they were 1-0 up at the Etihad. What do you want Real Madrid to do? He's like, why do you play it like cowards? I'm like, but, but, yeah. but that's what you if do. If we're 1-0 on... up at the Etihad, I'd want us to park the bus too. Like anyone. <laughs> Ryan is saying, Hossam the fraud said Arsenal <laughs> would win at the Allianz. They couldn't handle them at home with no away fans and thought they could handle the Allianz. We'll come, uh, Ryan. Hold that thought, because the Arsenal topic is I actually tricky. Hold that thought, Ryan. Thank you so much, because Hossam, Yesterday we had an argument about Arsenal. Yesterday, big up the City fan. Why you're simping to City fans now, Ryan? I, I don't get it. Big up the City no, fan who kept the ball. Of not, uh, he or she is a hero. Oh, okay, okay. Why did they keep the ball, the City fans? It didn't oh, make yeah, any sense. yeah, that's true. It didn't make any Barber sense. Yeah, yeah, thank yeah, you, Ryan, yeah. actually. I'm sorry, apologies. I actually didn't read the whole thing. Why did that happen? Like, I don't get it. Why is there only one football? That's what I would say. Yes, that's that's another question that Africa kept begging for a football. And, actually and nobody gave him anything. You guys yeah, have been slagging like Doku balls. off all season. I haven't. I haven't, Zeno. I, I have been, but he's better than Grealish for me. I haven't. Um... Gilno Kuri is saying, obviously, Palmer hasn't done what Saka has in football, but Arsenal fans rubbishing the Saka debate is childish. Will obviously be a convo very, very soon. We'll talk. About, can you? Every, I'm going to keep the super chat because we'll talk about Saka because a lot of people yesterday are coming with the Saka's Saka didn't better do than Palmer, man. Chelsea fans just want to get involved. Let it go, bro. Saka is better. <laughs> Uh, LB Grealish literally made the most chances in the UEFA, chance, uh, UEFA Champions League last season. City don't use wingers like other teams. It's the way we play, simple as that. This is what Pep Guardiola did to you. They told you that wingers that keep the ball is the way to go. While Doku yesterday is the what one that the made the what goal happen. The yeah, but what about the first part of the, the super chat? Last season. Yeah. How much last season? It's chance created. Chances created means chance created. nothing. We all don't rate Bruno Fernandes here. Chances created is a very... He's, the, be he's the biggest chances created in the league, by the you way. You know what chances created? See what they're doing, chat. See what they're doing, chat. So they say the guy never creates chances. So then when the guy super chats and said last year, Jack Grealish got the most champions, uh, most chances created in the in Champions League. Games, they in then eight say, games. They then say, oh, actually... Chance created isn't that important. They yeah, chance created is not. Do you know chance created is? Really passing the ball to someone and him shooting is considered you a chance guys. created. Funny guy. Big chances created is what indicates creativity, not chances created. It's just a fact. Uh, all right. Done. Carry on, what? 
Wag, wag one, Mr. Lewis. Don't be sad. I can hug. Uh, it comes again. Then I call him a bad. member. Craig Lee, thank you. Craig Lee is like, when you play Holland, you need creators on the pitch. Yeah, you need people. You know, you need a lot of people to cross the ball. Spam. Get the ball in the 18. Not keep ball. That's why Holland is not involved. And also him taking Holland off when you need a number nine in a jammed area was a strange unless he was injured. Apparently he has to come off. Oh, so he asked to come off. He was injured. And KDB asked to come off too. Okay. Do you think That's he's weak. protecting his decision? Do you guys think he's protecting his decision by saying that? No, I don't think Pep said that. No, because that, that, no, because then if you're Haaland and that didn't happen, you come out and be like, "What's the guy waffling?" No, I didn't. Yeah, he's literally. I think that that's players. just weak from Haaland and KDB. It's weak. It's weak. Ah, uh, I get what is happening. There is big chances created and chances created last season, that's right? Point, big chances created last season. Jack Grealish is not even on the list. Yes. In the Champions League, you know what chance created this. Yeah, but let me tell you what chances and created. Are. And it tells me that chances created in the in the Champions League last doesn't mean anything. Jack Grealish thirty five. The next one is twenty three. So Jack Grealish is great in passing the ball back and someone shooting like Hussam is saying, right? Yeah. But big chances created. He's not even on the list. But maybe that's what pe maybe that's part of the game plan of having fantastic when you've got players like Rodri and Kevin De Bruyne who can shoot from distance. Maybe that's maybe that's part of the game plan. I mean, Again, it's another thing that you're just not taking into maybe we don't understand it. Maybe maybe we I don't, don't understand honestly, bro, I don't maybe think you do understand don't. it. Maybe we don't understand pitbull. I don't think you do, bro. I, I think we don't. His 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 football is different, is, is yeah. different than what I what I grew up watching. Mr. Lewis, can I sing a song for you? Can I help you? <coughs> Mr. Lewis, you're <laughs> no, this is absolutely this is borderline harassment, by the way. Uh your eyes are so beautiful. To cry over a loss in Champions League, let's sit together on a sofa behind and eat pizza. It's so strange. To be honest, this is becoming very strange. Uh, Blue Tone. Oh, big up, Tony. Thank you. Big up, Tony. Big up. Uh, Grealish was City's best attacking player up until he went off. Creates spaces for others. Helps sustain attacks, which is overlooked. Sustain attacks. Anybody keeps the ball. Tony. <laughs> Tony, <laughs> anybody keeps the ball. You're Manchester City under Pep Guardiola. Rory plays on the left wing. He keeps the ball. Hossam keeps the ball. Like, bro, anybody keeps the ball. The difference between Jack Grealish is that he wait until player come in and then it's either he commit a foul or he passes back. That's all he does. It's... <laughs> Wallahi, we're That's looking out for you guys. Man. Wallahi, we're looking out for you. Don't create your goal yesterday. We're looking out for you. I think... I. I don't know what's the the obsession of protecting Jack Grealish from Man City fans since last season. Is it the money? I don't know. Is it because he's so fun outside the pitch and they want to keep that fun vibe around the club? I, I don't get it. And he helps the poor and all this stuff. Like, the protection is strange, bro. I don't get it. Dan Carlito saying, now that City lost, I can defend him and say, Real Madrid parks the bus, especially admitting they are inferior. Shameful five at the back. So, this is one people like, guys, I'm going to repeat that, and I told that to Hamza. AC Milan, 89, right? 1991. They are known, right, for the red and black wall, right? A lot of defending is a part of the game, is art. Pep Guardiola taught us that it's not. Pep Guardiola changed our minds, right? Defending is part of the game, especially if you are winning 1-0 up against a team like Manchester City. Mr. LB is Grealish more beautiful than me. Okay, come on now. <laughs> ben is saying, Hossam, Bayern through Arsenal 3 to aggregate. Apologies. How will I last apologize, Ben, when you are Bayern? You want Arsenal, last one. Big up, you're Phil. You're a fan who yourself are Arsenal. Oh, yeah. Big up. Big up, Mikey. Big up. You never walk alone. Big up. Big up. Yes, Arsenal Football Club. Hossam, hmm. tell me. You're starting with me? We have an Arsenal fan here. Okay, Rory. Yes. yes, anyone. Like anyone. Rory, brother. Yeah, we're out. So it was fun. It was a fun journey. Um, but look, credit to Bayern Munich, you know, credit to Bayern Munich. They set up. We have an issue that everything goes through our right hand side. Everything goes through Ben White, Erdegaard, Saka. Our left side is actually so dysfunctional. People don't understand how, how problematic our left hand side is. So what do you do? You play two left backs 
on your left hand side. If you're buying, you play two left backs on your left hand side. You let Musiala drift over to the left as well, and you completely nullify that that right hand side. And then we sit there and change nothing all game, and you beat us. And to be honest, they deserve to win. So I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, anything other than this. This was the first year back. We did all right. I don't think we blew anyone away. We, you know, we we just about got past Porto and then we lost to Bayern. And there are lessons to be learned. But ultimately, I think Tuchel's underrated as a cup competition manager. I think he absolutely outdid Arteta. And Bayern have the players that can absolutely penalise you. Kimmich yesterday was unbelievable. And yet I've got Arsenal fans, by the way, when I suggested that we sign Kimmich, that don't want him because he's 29 years old. There's, you know, some, some people you can't help. But yeah, we lost. And... um but one thing I will say, Mikel Arteta, Mikel Arteta's Arsenal, no English team got further than us in the Champions League this season. So, you know, for his first attempt, it's not too bad. But it is disappointing. The whole, it was the first leg, isn't it? The first leg was what? what yeah, that, that ruined let's, us. Yeah. Let's, let's be real. Yeah, getting a draw mm. at home, going to, yep. going to the Allianz. It was always an up, upward battle from there. Um, so, yeah, really, you needed to win. You need to win that first leg, is what it is. Uh, I still look at the Arsenal team and think it's mad inexperienced. I think you need a lot more experience in that team. You actually, look at the... Thank you. Thank you, LB. Wallah. I'm, I genuinely, I'm thanking you genuinely for being honest about Arsenal because not a lot of people are. Why? What are people saying? And I didn't say anything about you. <laughs> by the way. Why did you take it on yourself? What? I'm not saying anything. Let LB speak. You keep interrupting LB. Have you noticed how many times you've interrupted LB? Bro, it's, it's, it's a madness. It's a madness, bro. I'm a guest on you've the show. You've been disrespectful to LB from the it's start of the stream. Crazy, bro. It's crazy. Go ahead, brother crazy. Lewis. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so he sorry. should Go remove ahead, himself bro. from the stream, man, and just have the, the just LB roll. Stream. There we Told go. you LB ain't the problem. You're the problem. Go ahead. Yeah, man. you you did uh, problem, man. Sorry. Nah, listen. I look. I look to um. I look to your big old man. This is the footy judge, Mo. Make sure you like and subscribe. Now I look. I looked at the. I looked at the Arsenal starting eleven from from like a game like last week, and actually went through and looked at like how many of these players have actually won stuff. It's very few, man. Very few, and even the ones that have won stuff, it's like Declan Rice. He won a Conference League. Zinchenko and Jesus were like you know not the main guys at City. Like the rest of them are very inexperienced. Saka's still not won anything. The goalkeeper's not won anything. You know, Saliba, Gabriel, Ben White, not won much. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's the very, very little experience, experience in there. This is why, like, I said I said on a stream yesterday, I can't remember which channel it was on, like, I think Arteta has made a major error in these last few years not focusing on the domestic cups because these are the easiest trophies to win, especially the Carabao Cup, yeah? No one cares about that trophy. But it helps build winning mentality. And I, and I really think that if, if you sat down with Arteta and say, what you what mistakes have you made? I, I'd be surprised if he didn't say, should have took the cups more seriously. Should have took it more seriously. Because it's those last five minutes in, in the games which you need to see out and you need to have the sort of experience that the Arsenal just lack. The, and it, then you look at the, the fact that they bottled the top four two years ago. They bottled the league last year. Then they dropped points against Aston Villa in a game that they should have won. And it's like, there seems to be a mentality issue. So for me... I think they should, next season, I think they should full send the, the domestic trophies. Full send them, try and win one of them and get some silverware and build from there. They're building from a base of nowhere because they've not won anything. I think he's made a major mistake. I really has on those domestic trophies. I think he needs to start focusing on them and try and actually win them. Top, can I ask you something, LB, regarding this before Rory comes in? If Arteta wins the cup next season, but doesn't win the league or the Champions League and win the cup the year after, but doesn't win the league or the Champions League. Do you think that's warranted him to stay? But wait, wait, that, sorry. That, just say that again. So what so do you if, do next if, year? If, if he wins the cup back to back next two seasons, right? Back to back. But wait, he doesn't win the league. FA Cup. The, FA Cup. Back to back next two seasons. Yeah. That yeah. would mean he has been in the job for seven years without winning the league or the Champions League. Do you think it's all right for a coach to be in a big club? Do you think it's all right for a coach in a big so, club to stay? So he wins the FA win, Cup next year. Back to back. If it up next year and the year after. after. And the year after. Okay, so you have to look at the context. What happens in the league? Okay. Okay. Do they compete? Do they bottle it? Okay. You know what I mean? Are they miles away? If they, win, if they win the FA Cup but finish 15 points behind City or Liverpool, or whoever wins the league, then, you know, you've got to take it into consideration. Okay. Do, they, uh, do, do they finish one point behind City 
Mm -hmm. and don't have any sort of like mentality bottle job situation. It's just they play well all season. They just they end up one point behind City and they win the FA Cup. Well, clearly then that's probably you wouldn't sack him. But obviously if he wins the FA Cup and he finishes 15, 20 points behind City or they're 10 points clear of the Premier League and then bottle it and then you know, you're probably still looking at that and going, oh, well done for winning the FA Cup. But, you know, we think maybe you've took it as far as you can go. Like you can't, you can't really ask me that question without the league format. Again, what mm -hmm. happens in the Champions League? They win the FA Cup, will get knocked out in the group stage. No, they or make they... quarter final. Okay, every I'm a, I can ask Rory the same question. You make the quarter final if, in the next two seasons. You make the quarter finals. You get knocked out to Real Madrid, Man City, whatever. You win two FA Cups back to back, right? But you don't win the league. I'm not saying you bottle it, you don't bottle it, whatever. You are challenging. You are a good team, but you aren't winning the league. You are finishing three, four points behind Manchester City or Liverpool, or whoever is going to win the league, right? But you aren't winning the league. Seven years. Without a league title under one manager, winning two cups, is that enough for a manager to stay at a big club? I give uh, you the context. I give you the context. I don't think, not, no, 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 I don't think you're asking that question. I think that's unfair because he doesn't I, know. I do Sorry, Robert. Sorry, Robert. Yeah, no, I do. St I, I know what you're going to say. I do still think that there is more context that would need to be applied anyway. But the reality is. Cup competitions aren't enough to keep any manager in a job. So they're simply not. Winning the Carabao Cup wasn't enough to keep Eric Ten Hag. Well, he is still there, but he won't be. It's that's not enough. When Arteta first joined, he won the FA Cup. He pro he proved that he could do that in my eyes. And, and the one thing that we're leaving out here, or that I think LB's leaving out, is if we'd gone full tilt in the cups this season, would we still be where we are in the league? Because the biggest issue is the players are knackered now. And we only played three cup games, domestic cup games all season. And that is actually the issue for Arteta is he does not know how to rotate this team. Now, part of that's because the squad isn't deep enough. You know, you're looking at bringing on Eddie and Ketia with five minutes to go last night to try and win a Champions League game in, in Munich. That's not good enough. Um, but some of those players are good enough. Smith Rowe is good enough. If he's not good enough, why have we insisted on keeping him? Reese Nelson, we gave a new contract. Why have we insisted on keeping him if he's not good enough? These are players, by the way, that they've played fewer minutes than Aaron Ramsdale this season. Thomas Partey isn't getting used anymore. Fabio Vieira, he spent 35 million on. He isn't playing games. So part of it's on Arteta in terms of how he rotates his squad. I saw a thing earlier. There are seven Arsenal outfield players that have started 40 or more games already this season. There are no City players that have done that. And the reason is, unless we have a really easy game like Luton at home, where he'll rotate four or five players, in every other game he doesn't rotate at all. Like not even just taking one player out to give them a rest at a time, which is what Pep's really good at. So... I think that's the big issue because we do look knackered. Second half yesterday, we just looked knackered. Second half against Aston Villa, we look knackered. Whether that's mentally or physically or both, I don't know. But for me, that's Arteta's biggest problem. In terms of what he needs to do to keep his job, like, apart from anything else, we have to have at least one season where we don't improve. Like, I think everyone would say we've improved this season compared to last season. Even if we finish second in the league again, I think we've improved. If we stop improving... Then you uh, then you start asking questions, but until then, you know I think we've just got to yeah you know, we still got Cedric and El Nenny in the squad. Like respectfully to them, we're we're not we don't have the full squad yet to compete. But equally, the players have got to look at themselves yesterday because off the back of the first half, forty five good minutes in the second half, we could still have won that game. And same with the first leg, we 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 took the lead, and mentally we collapsed from there and conceded two goals. So. Yeah, it's tough, but anyone that's Arteta out, I think, is is completely mental, is the bottom line. I don't think he's completely mental. I just think there's no replacement right now. First of all, we keep talking about him keeping his job. He's going to keep his job. So forget what the fans say. The club won't sack him. As long as he gets top four, he could get top four over the next five years and he's keeping his job. I don't think he could get sacked. He should get Champions League football, which is the financial aim, if you would like. But in terms of, uh, like, of whether you win or not, I think the biggest problem right now in world football is there is no real manager available out there. There is no real manager available out there. That And you know, I've, I've had this argument a hundred times. Listen, you cannot get Simeone. You cannot get Ancelotti. You cannot get Zidane. So it's pointless. I think if you get Zidane, sack Arteta tomorrow. But it's not going to happen. It's like you're not going to get Zidane. You're not going to get the elites. And the ones that are available, because... I want a new manager. Man United are looking at new managers. Chelsea possibly might need a new manager. There are clubs that need new managers out there, and there's just no one. Uh, you know, if it was five years ago, you could have mentioned probably about five, six managers who could take over, like a 
And then Ancelotti, before he took over Real Madrid, when he managed Everton, after he managed Everton, you have the likes of Simi, uh, not Simeone, what's his name? Antonio Conte, Jose Mourinho, there were options. Now there are no longer options. There is no option now. This is it, like, you know, so... Like, you wouldn't sack Arteta to get the Zerbi. You wouldn't sack Arteta to get, like, an Amarim or an Alonso or whoever. Alonso, I think, could could possibly make Arsenal a league-winning team based on what he's done at, at Bayer Leverkusen. However, I just think it's just... It's just right now, you look at the manager market out there and there's no one available. However, I completely disagree with you on the point that, you know, Arsenal shouldn't be disappointed. I think Arsenal should be very disappointed. This is the worst Bayern side I've seen in the last 15 years. They haven't won the league. Arsenal shouldn't be disappointed. Okay, but you said, like, we make it to the quarterfinals and stuff. I think this was a beatable side. Okay. Had you went out to Manchester City or Real Madrid, I think it's a different argument. Like, it's not it's not about just where you make it. Because even in the round of 16, you played Porto. And in the group stages, it's not like you haven't had really any difficult opposition. The first difficult opposition you come across, you failed. Because I think, looking at this Bayern side, this Bayern side is extremely beatable. Very beatable. They've been beaten multiple times in the Bundesliga this season. Leroy Sané hasn't had a good season across the, the whole year. You know, the likes of, uh, you know, Eric Dyer and Matthias De Ligt are playing at the back. Manuel Neuer's really old. Goretzka is not having a good season. It was a big opportunity missed because the reality of the situation is obviously now we know that that Real Madrid beat Manchester City. But had you both, had you and Manchester City progressed, you know, even Manchester City fans were saying, I don't want Arsenal to win because English on English fixtures is always different. So you could have even beaten Manchester City. And from the other side, as we've seen, there's literally PSG and Dortmund. So this is probably the easiest in terms of like, we're talking about who are you actually going to face because you could have beaten Manchester City. You've shown the ability to do that this season. And if, if you come out in a Champions League final at Wembley against a PSG or a Dortmund, you would be very confident and rightfully so because you're not looking at PSG and Dortmund and thinking, oh, shit, they're very tough teams to face. Like, you could have, you would have faced them and you would have felt a bit confident. I think this is an opportunity missed. Um, and I think... Arsenal had what it takes to win the game. I don't think fatigue is an excuse either because there are clubs like my club who's had a lot more injuries and have played a lot more games and a lot more fixtures and have, have went f further in, in the cup competition. So I think like winning stuff is more to validate what Arteta is doing to the fans, not necessarily to the, to the board, to the, to the club. Because to the club, this is the sad reality of football. And I'll end it on this. If you get Kroenke in here right now and ask him, would you rather qualify for the Champions League or win the FA Cup, he would 100% say qualify for the Champions League. This is just the reality of football. It's very sad, but it's the reality. Because from a financial perspective, from an attracting players perspective, from all of that shit, from a stature, you need to qualify for the Champions League. You, and FA Cup doesn't do that for you. And respectfully as well, we have to take it to another step and say, Arsenal are not Spurs. They're not like lusting for a trophy. It's not like they haven't seen one their whole life. They've seen the FA Cups and the Carabao Cups. My only issue is as follows. What's the threshold? Because we've said the same exact shit last season. Next year, Arsenal are going to compete. Next year, Arsenal are going to win. Next year, blah, blah, blah. Now we're sat here saying the same stuff. I was so happy Zinchenko and Jesus didn't start yesterday. So happy. Because they've become the scapegoat now. Every time Arsenal drop points, oh, Zinchenko's crap. Jesus is crap, blah, blah, blah. They, they didn't start yesterday. Tomiyasu started, which is who everyone wanted to start, you know. And Martinelli started, which is who everyone wanted to start. And... Arsenal still ended up not winning. I think this was an opportunity missed. This was possibly the easiest Champions League run in Arsenal could have had, you know, other than the semis, of course, because we still have to respect City. But other than that, this could have been the easiest Champions League run in ever. And I, they messed I, I, disagree, I disagree with that. The, the whole, I never buy into the, this was your easiest or best chance. Like everyone last year, this, this was the best chance you'll ever have to win the title. And then, because everyone's going to catch up next year and do better. Like everyone always says that. And then, you know, next season, it might be that, Real Madrid randomly drop off or City randomly drop off or whoever. Like, there's never a, a best opportunity. And even this season, we could have just been on the other side of the draw that didn't have Bayern, Real Madrid and Man City. That would have been a, a far easier side of the draw to be on. Um, but the main thing is, you talk about like, okay, the Crunkies would rather be in the Champions League than win the FA Cup. I think fans would. The, I think the, the whole like Twitter universe of football fandom where people like if, if Chelsea try to uh, win the FA Cup this season there will be arguments of did Chelsea have a better season than Arsenal because they won the FA Cup that will be an argument with online fans because that could because that's just become the way football Twitter and the football content space works the fact is if you ask any fan like genuine fan especially one that goes to games would you rather be in the Champions League and competing for a title or mid-table 
not in Europe, but winning an FA Cup. There's not a single fan that would rather that. So, there, there's. If you're asking me, would I you rather? So? Have... I don't know about that, man. I don't know. Yeah, about I don't know about that either. There are fans who would. There are. Oh, fans, fans of of smaller clubs that don't win anything. All right, Spurs maybe fine, but if you're a club that's, I think even Arsenal fans. Cups, no, we've been you, there. We've Rory, been you know, you position. could find genuine Arsenal fans who'd rather win the FA Cup than qualify. You know that. Very few. Very few. But oh, you could find them. We've like done they do it. We've done it. They they exist, sure, but I'm pretty sure most of them is because they'd rather win an on, an online argument with CFC Hazard than actually because they enjoyed it. That so is which true. one would you prefer? I'm sorry, I'm I'm confused now. If you if you gave me the option of being a mid table team not competing in Europe at all but winning an FA Cup or being in a title race, getting to a Champions League quarter final but not winning the FA Cup, I'm taking the the title race and the the Champions the Champions League quarter final every time. We've done 14 FA Cups. Like it's fun. It's a nice that you know, that's a nice cherry on the cake of a season. But the actual cake of the season is what you spend nine months enjoying. And if that's not in a title race and it's not in Europe. It is if you win it, but obviously if you don't win it, this is the thing. If you don't win the if you don't win the title, you don't win the Champions League, then winning the FA Cup is better. Obviously, the, the reason why you you you'd say that that's better for you is because obviously you've got a chance of winning the title. But ultimately, if you don't win the title, it doesn't matter whether you finish second or fourth. You know what I mean? But, but, fifth, but, you're, but, you're, but you're, you're in the process of like getting... So, ask, I mean, if there's an Arsenal fan that preferred the season, the 1920 season where we won the FA Cup to the last couple of seasons, if there's a single Arsenal to fan... Last that season, preferred to that, last season, 1920 with the FA Cup to last season. Yeah, if there's a single Arsenal fan that preferred that... A lot of them in the chat, by the way, they prefer FA Cup. By the way, I think you're taking this guys in the early, chat. Rory. Would you guys? Why does it have to be eighth place in the NFA Cup? Fifth. Well, that's what I'm comparing. No, no champions. No, no. Forget fifth. You could be third and win the FA Cup. Yeah, obviously, I don't I'm think... saying. I'm saying that's the cherry on no, the cake. Rory, I don't rather... think Villa would have caught up to you this season. I don't think they would have caught up to you. Maybe. maybe Even not. had you went strong, imagine you won the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup. I don't think you. I don't think necessarily but, Villa. But, but the FA. The, the, but I think it's unfair because the FA Cup this season we took seriously. We put out a stronger team than Liverpool in the FA Cup and they knocked us out. So that's that's just the reality of it. I don't think we didn't take the FA Cup seriously this season. I even think the Carabao you took seriously to an extent because you did sub on Saka, you subbed on Rice, you yeah. tried to win the game. Yeah, we just got fucking we just got battered by West Ham which was embarrassing. But I don't think I don't think you can accuse Arteta of not trying or throwing those competitions this season. And last season, we lost the FA Cup to Man City. If we had a run where we ended up getting knocked out by like a championship team or a really lower ranked Premier League team in the FA Cup because we fielded a B team, fair well, enough. He, did ro but... he rotated his back line against City last year. He uh... didn't take it seriously. He only played mm. Gabriel. He rotated last year. I don't Gabriel. think he took it seriously. This year, he, he, yeah. seriously. he didn't. He, yeah. he, he only but, played Gabriel but, in the back. But also, <laughs> yeah, but also next season, I fully expect us to take every competition seriously. Like, no, no question about it. If we take mm. every competition seriously and we still don't win a trophy, then you start, you know, becoming slightly worried. But what's your threshold, season? Rory? When when do you actually say, okay, enough is enough? Rory, I've been asked point? this on this channel like fifty thousand. Yeah, I've been asked this a lot. <laughs> I don't know why that's. But with the threshold, really, it's 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 based on so many things. Like, if Pep is still at City and still being bankrolled at City in the way that he is, like I think people forget, City had a treble winning squad last season that played the best bankrolled. football I think most of us yeah, have yeah. ever seen, and then spent more than oh, Arsenal did last summer, and are two points ahead of us in the Premier League and got knocked out in the same stage of the the Champions League. So I think there's levels to it. So if we're still competing against Pep, that's one thing. Um, Outside of that, I think we we have to keep progressing. But Rory, I just think that's a losing mentality. And More I blame point. my own club. I blame my own club, and so should you. I mm -hmm. don't think it's a pep thing. This season, uh, we have to be honest, if City win the league, my club and your club only have themselves to blame. Because this is not the extent. amazing, incredible City. We should have won the league. Well, yeah, but again, to an extent, if they end up on 91 points, which they will if they win the final six games... That's still more points than the Invincibles got. I still think there's a, a level. And this is what I'm saying. If we improve, if next season we get 95 points, but City get 97, that's still an improvement. And people will go, but oh, you've gone from second to second. But it's still an improvement. So that's what I want to keep seeing. Uh, and I get what you're saying, but the Invincibles aren't the threshold. The threshold is the City Centurions in terms of points. 
in terms of points, not the greatest. I think the Invincibles are the greatest ever Premier League. Guys, the benchmark the... is winning no. the league. There is you're no talking about yeah, the, the... 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 Rory, the benchmark. No, I'm saying benchmark the is points. winning the league, Rory. Nine football okay. has changed. Even Arteta, Arteta himself is playing more controlled and different football that allows him to get 90 points as well. Oh, like it's, this is not Arsene Wenger. This is not Maureen. This is not uh, Alex Ferguson when he's to win the league with 75 points. I the agree. fact that you are a manager in 2024, you have to play like Inter now within that is playing to get 90 points. If Zabi Alonso in Germany, by the way, if they had done 38 games, they are on course to get 100 points. This is just football changed. So it's unfair for us to sit here and say, but Pep raised the bar. He raised the bar, but everybody else is going up with him. This is why Mourinho went and got 100. Mourinho went and got 100 points with Real Madrid. This is the, the bar has been raised with everyone, right? Including Pep as well. So he raised the bar and Arteta as well. You play in very good but, football to get you 90 points as well. I know, but you're talking about my threshold for sacking Mikel Arteta. You're not talking about like... I agree. You have to get those points if you want to win the league. But my threshold for sacking Arteta is if we improve again next season and get 95 points but still don't win the league, I'm not sacking Arteta because I don't think there's anyone else in the world that's going to come in and get 95 points with this Arsenal squad. That's not that's not an league. unreasonable statement from Rory, to be fair. The one thing that I would say is you should, all teams should be targeting the Carabao Cup, right? There's only four trophies that you no. can win in Europe. Fuck the Carabao Cup, honestly. Uh, why, honestly. Why do the Arsenal fans do this, man? It's a it's, trophy that you it's can a trophy. win. But I don't care for it, and nothing can ever physically change the chemistry of my brain to care about that competition. Well, I don't yeah, but you're saying it's the cherry on the cake. You're saying no, it's the, the, cherry on the, the cherry on the cake. The okay, at the, the, at the end of the cake. season, at the end of the season, I'd rather have a cherry than have no cake and no cherry. Exactly. I'd rather right. have a cherry on my. Like plate. you're not like for some, yes. Say say Liverpool only win the Carabao Cup this year, right? They're not going to go parading it, but like at least you've won a trophy. At least Sam had a good hey, day when go. they lifted his trophy. <laughs> and by the way, that's the only. <laughs> LB, LB. I know, I know. I know. If we parade the Carabao Cup, I'm going to lose my damn mind. I'm telling you right now. LB, you know, we're going to call it club's farewell party. No, you know, but listen as well, Pep Pe Guardiola doesn't take that seat. He won it five times in a row and he's had enough of it, yeah? So that is one trophy that we, we basically just, like, forego. Like, that is a trophy that teams should be going for. And Rory, that's the wrong mentality, man. No, I, no, I agree Arsenal should be going for it. What I'm telling you is, I personally couldn't care less if we win it or not. I, I Genuinely, I feel zero emotion when we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup. It, I, I'm saying we should go for it as a club because there are fans that want to win it and we need to keep them happy. Me personally, I can't, I can't. What do you want me to do? I can't just sit here and lie and tell you that I will ever care about a cup that I won't. I'm not saying that's the right way. It's just, it's just, it's just how I am. But we should go for it. We should go for it because there are other fans that will be happy if we win. But me personally, forget other fans and forget. Listen, whether you rate the Carabao Cup or, or, or some or, or not, I think it's besides the point. Getting a team, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you why it's necessary. When you win a Carabao Cup or an FA Cup, it's like a wolf smelling blood and finally getting a taste of something. Now, that something doesn't have to be luxurious from first. Like, you know, when, when, when lions go hunting, they don't necessarily hunt a buffalo from the first time. Sometimes they catch a deer or a zebra or something like that. It's not as good as the buffalo because when you hunt a buffalo, the whole pride eats. It's not a zebra, that's... actually. Zebra is very hard, actually, to, to, to catch. I've seen David yeah, Adams speak. Right? More... Okay, first of all, don't <laughs> test me because I'm an actual geographic expert. <laughs> Buffalo are the number one killer of lions in 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 the in the uh, jungles. Are you aware of this? There you are. Please don't test me. Get me, David. No, David no, no. But, but obviously, a deer is completely different to zebra, bro. Yeah, but I've already. But, but obviously, we're having a reference. Okay, do you agree? Buffalo is like the Premier League or the Champions League. Buffalo is the ultimate. Like, is the ultimate buffet snack, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, okay. Thank for... you. So basically, the zebra and the deer is like an FA Cup and a Carabao Cup. That's the reference I'm making. So sometimes lions learn to hunt by getting a zebra or a deer. They don't learn to hunt. They don't. A lion cannot go and hunt a buffalo straight away. And I've seen it with my, with with obviously with my own club. You have to win certain things first, you know, to get yourself to that level. And I think with, uh, I think with with Arsenal. Okay, let me ask you this, Rory. If you could get Zidane tomorrow, would you get him? No. Ah! This is where you're crazy. This is where you're crazy. This is where you lose me. No. This is where you lose me. See, now, no. now you've lost it. No, uh, you've lost let me explain. But let me explain. Give me, give me Zidane 
in 18 months' time. Give me Zidane after another one or two windows. Then give me Zidane. Oh, wow. If I said, I if I said would you take Mourinho or would you take, you know, Amarim, and you say no, I have no problem with that. But if you say Zidane and you give, would still oh. say no, that's mad. Because I still think this squad has a long way to develop. And I've not seen Zidane develop a squad. I've seen him inherit an elite squad He's, of players. Did he not world three the Champions League? Yeah, he did. 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 Oh, look, oh that's, that's just, that's just And me. this is that's a myth me. that Zidane hasn't developed players. Zidane developed Varane. Courtois was really long, uh, young when he got him. There were, there were many players. He played with, what's his name? Ferlon Mendy. Right, Zidane he developed young and junior. You guys are... Forget that Zidane. Kamavinga, Shuameni. All of these played under Zidane. Yeah. No, sorry, not Kamavinga. Shuameni did, though. No, actually, not Shuameni, Kamavinga. Maybe. Yeah, Kamavinga did, did not Shuameni. I'm, 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 I'm with Rory on Zidane, but there are other coaches out there. You wouldn't say Zidane. Would you, would you take your... You wouldn't take Zidane. I'd take Zidane. You wouldn't Zidane say more. Zidane. For me? For Inter? No, at the current Arsenal. Arsenal. No, at Arsenal. Yeah, I, Zidane I would, would be strong. such a difference maker, Mo. Yeah, the problem is that for me is that Zidane hasn't been coached. But if you ask me, he would you replace Arteta? Yeah. Would you replace Arteta with Jurgen Klopp tomorrow? I'd say yeah, yeah. Uh, Arsenal tomorrow, yes, uh, of course, of course. Would you replace good. Arteta with Pep Guardiola? Probably. Yeah. And I'm Pep gonna Guardiola, say yeah. I'm gonna say something m m a little bit more outrageous, right? Xabi Alonso already won the league, probably invincible, right? He developed the style mm -hmm. of play first year. Right, if he's offered the Arsenal job, why not try something new? If you aren't, if Rory, you sitting here and telling us that you're not even guaranteed that Arteta will win the league or the Champions League next season, and you told me on Monday with Tom and, and Nobbins that you will have to accept the reality that Pep is there to win the league, and if we challenge, it's all right. Okay, so why not try something new then? What what are you gonna lose? Because because I because I still think Arteta is improving. That's uh, that's what I'm saying. So, so Zabi Alonso might improve your team as well. So what what is he that? might? But 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 from what I've seen so far, Arteta has improved the team year on year. So do I want to take the risk of a manager who fine has done an exceptional job at Bayer Leverkusen yes. to come into a new squad in a new league in a new environment and continue the progression? So that's your that only Arteta argument is that you you don't want to take the risk. That's your only argument. Not until we start stagnating, yeah. Uh, why, uh, that I, seems I like a crazy reason. That's why I said Zidane. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's, that's right. That's, that's it's a risk fair as well. about Xavi Alonso. I wouldn't take the risk on Xavi Alonso. I think it's okay. too soon. But would Zidane... you take the risk on someone else? Yes, that is the yeah, point. Yeah, risk on Zidane. Of course you would take the risk on Zidane. Come on. Bro, I pick Zidane. What's wrong? Oh, Zidane, Zidane, Zidane. Come on, man. He'd walk in there and he'd change the whole mentality, everything, like... Zidane would I, I be... think people people in the Maybe. chat are missing the point. We're doing hypotheticals here. Zidane is not coming to England. But I mean, the point oh, that, yeah, he's not coming to England. that people are not understanding. My, our questions, LB and Sam's questions, are related to when do you try something new then? Like when do yeah. you when do you try something new? When do you when say, okay? When yeah, but that's very that's a very vague answer. Though. Vague, very vague. Yeah. Okay. I, I okay. Let me let me change the the question up. Because I'm not going to sit here and go if we don't win a trophy next season, sack him. I'm not going to sit okay. here and say. You, you know, think what, what you, do you even want? If, what do you it, want me to say? Okay. Do you think you've failed this season? Yes. If they don't if win they, the league, of course. We're assuming yes. that you're not going to win the league. If we don't win the league, league yeah. The league. But, but also, if you ask me what the <laughs> objectives were at the start of the season, I don't think we failed on what I thought we were capable of at the start of the season. The reason I think we failed is because of the position we got ourselves into and then, in my opinion, let ourselves down from. But this is the thing, even throughout a, a season, like the context changes and your obje objectives change. So I, I for me... The big thing for Arteta this season was to prove that we could be consistent in terms of fighting for a title again and mm -hmm. to prove that he could at least get to the quarterfinals of the, the Champions League. And that's what, I mean, he's done that. So, in a, it, you know, he's done what I wanted to see. Obviously, I wanted to see more, but the minimum I wanted to see, he's achieved. Uh, and I'm just like... So and what's also, the objective next season then? Can continue. Like, what's the objective next improvement. season? Improvement. It's the friends we made Wait, 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 wait. No, it's not the friends I we want, made I along want... the way. <laughs> Go ahead, Rory. What's the objective next season? I think it should be to go further in the Champions League, so at least the semi-final. Okay. Um, I think it's to finish on more points than we finish on this season. But again, if City go and do another 97, 98-point season um, and we get 95, I'm like, 
there's that's improvement still. Um, and and realistically, to get to a domestic cup final at least, but because then at least we show that we can take them seriously. But again, I'm like, I don't really understand just what people think we're going to do if we sack Arteta. Because no one believes we have a squad anywhere near as good as Man City's, if they're honest about it. If you look at the way people talk about, Bukayo Saka is comfortably in our top three best players. And yet the narrative around him is that he's actually an average overhyped player. And that's one of our three best players. So if you then look at the rest of the squad, they're far below the way that people describe the Man City players. But yet Arteta is somehow underperforming by being two points behind him in the league and getting the same distance in his in the in the Champions League in his first ever Champions League run. And Pep Guardiola is widely regarded as the best manager. I actually predicted that Arsenal will win the league at the start of the season. You know, Sam, I think man, Sam Sam kept fighting about this. He's like, yeah? I think Arsenal will win the league. I think Arsenal will win. Yeah, the actually, league. Arsenal, but what? Arsenal why? Why? So you saw the treble winners that played the best football that most of us have have seen. You saw them. You saw the them football. then go to best football. Uh, arguably, Some arguably, the best, arguably, arguably, most dominant. However, you want to describe it. Yeah, they beat Inter Milan. I beat them with Harvey Elliott. Who gives a fuck? But anyway, well, they we also beat Real Madrid and Bayern. Yeah, they beat Real Madrid before, before that and Bayern. We also beat Real Madrid in the final. Right. Okay. That was just a dig at Mo. But, you, can, you guys could have let that go. That was a dig at Mo. But, you know, okay. just but, f- the point is, why did you think that Arsenal... Pizza and then topping they went Atalanta and spent- 3-0 down. You... Pizza I, I, topping I, I, Atalanta 3-0 down. down. Your coach is going to leave with one league okay, title and one Champions League. Right? One league title and Champions League. Your club... For 40 years now, no, you haven't seen enough trophies. It's so bitter. It's so bitter. Right. Go ahead, Rory. I'm sorry. How many times have you so seen the, point the, is, the point is, what made, why, logically, why did you think that that treble winning team that then had I'll more tell you money why. spent because on you it? signed Declan Rice, who I rate very highly. Uh, you signed Jurian Timber, who I wanted at my own club. And I thought that the Arsenal Football Club, biggest problem, and now I've actually realized that Arsenal fans, respectfully, not you, because of this, the first time we worked together, but Arsenal fans do waffle a lot and scapegoat a lot. Yesterday, last season, it was Partey. And you remember that. It was Partey got injured, Partey got injured, Partey got injured. We need someone to replace Partey. Declan Rice came in. And I thought, with you signing Kirior, or with you signing the players that you did, David Raya, you've made enough progress and improvement in that transfer market to end up winning the league. You've spent enough money, you've done enough to win the league. Havertz was the risk that Arteta was willing to take. And he has to he has to basically do the job based on his risk. So it's not it's not it's not like you know someone else's magical fault. He because he said no to Havertz. No one no one wanted Havertz anyway at the start of this, uh, the window. So I thought Arsenal were going to win the league this season. I really did, and I predicted that all along. And I do rate the Arsenal players. I think Arsenal do have a good enough team to win the league. But at the end of the day, you know. We have we don't, and I say we because my club is the same. We only have ourselves to blame. It's not City brilliance. We 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 messed up our own selves. This is just the reality. But again, you talk about Arsenal spending enough money. Have we spent yes. enough money? If we're still yes. if we're still we spent enough money to compete with Man City. Yeah, I fully believe that. I said you're gonna but win it from August. Despite the fact it, that they had a despite the fact they had a treble winning it. squad and then spent more money than us last summer. But you spent it poorly. Yes, because they let go of important pieces. But we did. how did we spend it poorly? When Okay, so we signed 65, uh, 60 million, 65 million for Kai Havertz. You spent a similar amount on Mateus Nunez, but because he doesn't have to play, because the he rest of play. your squad is already a treble winning squad, yeah, but he doesn't you play. But, but, he barely plays. You, you, could have, you could have got James Madison and another player, and had two players. McAllister. Which is you moaned about your squad size. You could have, if you didn't buy Kai Havertz for sixty-five M's, you could have bought someone like like a Madison and someone else on top of that. We could that, have done, yeah. But that's not his fault. He, he, he but he but then it. but then any any okay. So but then any squad can go out and find the best value transfers of any transfer window and happen to be the club that gets all of the best value transfers, and and then they win the league. Like it, it does. Yeah. What? The, but everyone, you, but, but, McAllister but, and Madison for most of the season have been dubbed two of the top three mo- best value signings of the summer. So, but right. because Arsenal didn't get those two, that was a wild mistake. Well, yes, it was a mistake. But you spent fifty odd million on Nunez, but because you don't need him, it's not considered but, a mistake. That, but it, but no, it only no, it actually be a lot of mistake fans are actually win. criticizing. Actually, yeah, a lot of we were, fans well, actually, are staying the transfer window. Win. LB had done streams. On streams, hours of streams on transfer windows. LB, it, it's all, it, won't, it only won't be a mistake, Rory. We don't 
if we win the tro- if we win the Premier League, if we don't win the Premier League, then people will say it's a mistake. Just like if you win the Premier League, people won't say signing Havertz is a mistake. But because you're not, it will provide you don't win it, which you still might do. People will say, "Well, uh, you know, get over LV. You're so pathetic, bro. You support Man City. Grow up. Stop saying this whole. Oh, you might. No, you. We won't. Calm down. You're winning the league. Brighton are not stopping you. Oh, I didn't know. Grow up, up LV. You need to oh, back. Okay, okay, okay. Where is okay. your chest? You ask me for chest for six months. Now it's your know what about, then. It's in your hands, and this goal difference crap that you've been saying all year long is now done. It's time for you to speak with chest." Even City fans within the chat would agree with me. Stop bullshitting. Oh, you still might. You still might. No, we won't. We are me and Roy. No, 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 you like won't. No, 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 no. You, won't. you, you won't. Okay? Liverpool won't. So Liverpool just won't. stop gaslighting. You, you, you guys have locked out. No, 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 no. I, I agree. You won't. Gaslighted on this whole you, app. You, you've, you've locked out, bro. You've locked out. Your club won't win the Premier League. Oh, okay. My club won't win the Premier. Okay, me and Arsenal are on the same points. Using your logic, we could win it if you lose again. Nah, 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 okay? nah. You, you ain't the same. Exactly. You ain't the same. You're not the same. The state as it is. People remember it. See in the chat, they're already quoting you. Essential, eh? Because of goal difference, blah, 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 blah. Isn't this your turn to show chest? Show it then. I think we will, Malik. Like. But, oh, you might just, but obviously, the there is still six games there. But I'm just I'm just saying, if Arsenal do you go on and win the league... Your biggest fraud, so we, honestly. Oh, my God. Right, so we can't speak about it then. All right, sorry, Rory. Your season's a complete failure. Yeah, you know, of course. Our that. season's done and it's a failure. failure. I'm just trying to apply context, bro. I, yes, it is a failure if they don't win anything. But if they do There's win no it, if. then obviously it's not There's a failure. No There's no if. Okay. Okay. No sorry, Rory. It's a failure. Bro. City are league champions. Stop I was just, apply, I was just trying to apply context. Cut, Rory, I was just trying to apply context to the situation, but apparently I'm not allowed to do that. So it's, it's a no, failure. I appreciate the, it. Habit, the habit signing was an absolute disgrace and it has failed. There you go. Yes. Sorry, you think that actually, by the way? Why are you doing this just because they're always. Yeah, no, I do. I do. But, they, anyway. but, you're not, yeah, but if they win the league, which I'm not allowed to say, then it's obviously not a failure, is it? If they win the league, it's because you failed, LB. You get correct. It? Yes, correct. Okay, I'm not okay. disagree with you. You're acting like I disagree. If we don't win the league from here, it's poor. But if we don't win the league and Arsenal do win it, then it's clearly not a failure that they had a habit signing because they won the fucking league. But if they Arsenal don't win it, yeah. then no you got to criti- you got to criticize the signing of Havertz and said they should have signed two players for 65 M's instead of signing one. And that's a very reasonable thing to say. LB, can I honestly ask you something from now to the end of the year? You can ask me whatever you want, bro. And I, can you stop gaslighting Arsenal and Liverpool fans, please? Can you actually stop? I don't even speak stop. about Liverpool anymore. You're not even in my in, forget, in my forget. in my okay, brain. But, but you're actually flop because you're saying Liverpool are favourites two weeks ago. Second of all, you were let top us the table. Stop. Yes, yes, you fully said that. Even more smiling because he remembers. Now, LB, from now to the end of the year, stop gaslighting. You are top of the league. Goal difference is not involved at all. You have no tough fixture remaining. Even Spurs got slapped by Newcastle 4-0. Stop lying to us. Stop gaslighting us. Stop fooling us. You've won the league already. You get me? Just do your job and beat the teams you're expected to beat. And that's it. You're the biggest gaslighter of this whole app. You know, and there's a reason why you're smiling. Because you know you're gaslighting as well. Oh, I'm smiling, bro. Arsenal win the league. Deep down, stop smiling because you're smug. I'm You're sorry, Rory. Person. I'm sorry, bro. Like, You're only two points behind us. You have a smart. superior goal difference, but I'm not allowed to speak about you potentially still winning the league. I'm sorry to all Arsenal fans that we're not allowed to have that conversation. If I put you on a lie detector test, who's winning the league right now? Don't lie. City! I've said City winning it! Okay, you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't listen don't to what I say, bro. You always ask me what who's winning the league. I literally say here... City are winning the league, and then this guy goes, huh, Stop gaslighting, stop gaslighting me, stop gaslighting the chat. Yeah, oh, because you, you are gaslighting, about, you always gaslight. I literally just said, How do you think he's gaslighting at, at all? I don't think he's gaslighting at all. Nah, people in the chat, these people in the chat don't even Everyone know what gaslight means. I I tell you, I say it at all. Is that my context? Stay you'll win the league if we don't win the I league. I am in the chat people. is a Barcelona fan, and even he's saying Elby's gaslight. Bro, he is literally he just said, Yeah, it, because Man City are favorites now. You, bro, he's probably booked a flight to No, Jordan. he spends well, a whole uh, month. He's... He spends a whole month telling me Liverpool are favorites. Waffling you about were favorites, favorite. you were top of the league. Okay, one second, LB, one second. Now you're top of the league. Goal difference is no longer involved. I guess what points. I'm saying. I guess what I'm saying. Okay, don't gaslight them. Now that we're top of the league, so when you were top of the league, I said you were favourites. Now we're top of the league, guess who I'm saying is favourites? Go on, this will blow your mind. Honestly, bro. Yeah, like that pack. Like that pack. See, yeah, LB gaslighting as usual. Yeah, LB he's not gaslighting not anyone. Gaslighting, bro. What is he talking about? He doesn't know what he's okay, on about, Okay, man. can I tell you the gaslighting part? The gaslighting part Okay, you got 30 seconds. Rory, right. if Arsenal uh, win the league, because they could still possibly win the league, that's you waffling. Because you know good and damn well 
He still has to go to Old Trafford. He still has to go play a North London derby. I have to go Aston Villa away. I still have to play Spurs at home. Your most tough fixture are all... You have the easiest run-in, the most pathetic run-in I've seen in a title race ever. You look, you could play your bench in the next six Premier League games and win them all. Stop lying to us, okay? There's no if. What have I lied about? What if I just said that, some, that I've lied about? You're giving a possibility for someone else to win the league. So there is no, no, possib- no, there's there's no possibility. There's absolutely no possibility. Anything. There's yes, no there's possibility. zero possibility zero. That, that anyone wins zero. the league. Anyone chance. wins the league other than City. Chance. Yes, it's done. It's done. It's done. Zero. That's a weak mentality. Okay. Uh, if you had yeah, Rory's yeah, actually, running... That is a weak mentality. Yeah, cool. If you cool. had Rory's running or my running, I'd say yes. You have no tough fixtures. Zero. No. Okay. I okay. still okay. think it's possible. I still okay. think it's possible. Can you tell us what would you do if one if City don't win the league? Then, if you're so sure about this, no, uh, there's nothing anything. I would do. No, no, nothing I would do. You said no, zero. No, no, zero. said zero. You said zero percent chance. Tell us what would you yeah, do? Yeah, it's stopping semantics. Okay, one percent, whatever. Who gives a fuck? No, 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 no. No, you can't do that. No, 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 no. You can't. You can't come back on your word now. One percent chance is not enough for me to have a discussion. It's about. crazy that you think that City. They are more like the thing about you, Hussam, is that. More likely You're than the not. same guy that told us Brighton away was tough, can, and then can Arsenal we just uh, can, can you let us talk? Is that is that all year Hussam long? Show? Brighton is that, away is that, is that is that is that Osam show now? Please, is that Brighton turning then. okay? It's turning into Osam show now. Khalas. we can talk. It's Osam show, right? Listen, LB has a show with Dan Potts in a bit, right? Just give give us a second. Let us talk. Okay, Big up Potsy. L- let us talk. By the way, guys, stay on the stream. Don't go anywhere. You're gonna be redirected to Dan Potts and LB on his channel, right? In a bit. Like 10, 15 minutes. Yes. Man City, there is a possibility they drop. They play Chelsea in the weekend. They can lose the game. And then after this, by the time they play, Arsenal and Liverpool might be ahead of them playing Brighton away. Mm. Mm. What, what is mm? At that time, it's a possibility that City drop points. There is a possibility. You, you want to tell me that you sat down and said, yes, Crystal Palace at the Etihad will get a draw after being 2 0 down. I guarantee you the odds of that time were like liar 10. On this whole app. Let us talk and don't cut us off. Did I not you say took two, over two? the show? You took I over two, the show. You interrupted LB for the first half an hour. Frog. LB, LB is okay with it. He's not okay with you interrupting. No, he's not okay with it. Even he's okay with it. Off. He's okay with it. Just don't 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 just uh you said two two, but Man City yeah. were two nil up. But that time, by the way, there was a less than five percent. By the way, NBC here showed the possibilities. There was less than five percent chance of uh, Crystal Palace getting a draw, right? When uh, when Man City were two 0 up, and at the end it happens. Football happens, bro. Sometimes it happens, right? Man City still have to play Spurs away. What say that Arsenal won't win every game from now until the end of the season? They have nothing. Arsenal, they have nothing. All they have to do now, now they have to win the freaking game. There's no Champions League. Nobody's telling you your favorites now to win the league. Nothing. Nothing is happening. Arsenal going to every game. Ah, uh, khalas. So we're gonna play this game. We're gonna win the game. That's it. There is no Champions League. There is no cup. There is nothing. They are not thinking about we're top of the. They aren't even top like of the league season. anymore. Right? They aren't even top of the league. They can win every game from now until the end of the season. Man City will drop one game. Arsenal champions. It can happen. It's not one percent chance. It can happen. Anyway, okay. back to what LB's point is. If Arsenal do this, people are gonna look at this Arsenal team and say, "Well, you proved the point. You signed Kai Havertz. You you made him work, double digits goals in his first season. Timber was injured. You signed Declan Rice, arguably the most consistent player in the league at the current moment in the Premier League. So it worked, right? But this, and this is, by the way, this is what I'm saying. When we start talking about if we should sack Arteta, who Sam yourself you said Timber was an inc- a, a very good signing that you wanted yourself. So. Let's say, for argument's sake, Yuri and Timber across the entire season would have been worth three more, two more points to our entire campaign. He'd have been worth two more points. We'd now be top of the league, but he's been out all season, which is a complete something that Mikel Arteta could not have factored in or avoided. So it's like you're talking about sacking a manager because of the finest margins when even with the signing of Timber, you actually thought that was a good signing. Okay. Alisson, Trent. Van Dijk, Konate, Robertson, Simikas, McAllister, Endo, Soboslai, Mo Salah, Jota, Nunez, Diaz, Gakpo. All of these players I just mentioned were injured across the whole year and I still say my club failed. 
that's 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 just the ultimate reality of football. Football does not remember context. We can speak about context now because we're in the moment. But the reality is we should have done better. And I say we because it's the same thing for my own club. I've seen Connor Bradley play. I've seen Jaden Dance play. Lewis Kumas play. I've seen youngsters that I've never, ever heard of play games of football. I'm not saying Arteta should be sacked now. I agreed with you. I said there are no options in the market. But then I changed my question. I said, if there was a hypothetical Zidane available and you said no, that's where me and LB lost it. Because you said no to Zidane. I'm not saying say yes to Alonso and Amarim. I'm saying you say yes to Zidane. That's the difference. So would you sack Klopp then? I mean, he's going anyway. But if he wasn't going, we'd going anyway. Klopp. But if he's he wasn't, anyway. we're, we're doing hypotheticals now where Zidane might come to Arsenal. So Very good hypothetical, question. Klopp isn't leaving. Mm, you Very him? good question. Interesting press question, him. bro. Press no. him. Press him. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's no pressing about this. No, I wouldn't sack Klopp because he has been successful in my football club. Arteta five years successful. without success, but the last time you won the Premier League... No, we won the Premier League. You're looking down at trophies now? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What cup you in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In, For yeah. Liverpool Football Club, a domestic cup, two domestic cups in five years is not enough. For a top manager. No, no it's not enough. So, so you what, aren't going to do, do us this. Like it's not in five years. Why you add numbers from your... So when, when, when was the last okay. time you won? When was the last it's time three you domestic cups in, in four years. Calm down. So what would be the threshold? You like the threshold mm. question. I wouldn't sack Klopp because he's shown the ability to be successful once again. I've already explained it. And I'm You'd talking about even him. no, but winning the league and the Champions League, he's already shown me the ability to be successful. Something so, Arteta so, hasn't. But what's so, the so, threshold though? How 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 many more years could he go without winning? Without Champions League or a league, yes. Thank you, Rory. Thank you. I'd probably say maybe two, Rory three go, more years. Rory goes top now because he has the good. Two or, so two or three more years. Two, three and when more was the years. last time you won? When yes. was the last time you won either of them? 2020, uh, the last time they lifted the trophy in 2020. So you the last time him, they lifted the Premier yes. League 2020. Right. So you'd give him five or six years without winning either of those trophies with a squad having started with a squad that was already capable of doing it because he did do it. Well, that's where we disagree. Five or six I don't years think without it's winning it. Well, it was capable because they did it. it was so it was. No, he's talking from 2020. You already won I'm it. At 2020, from the point so where you won it, he had a squad that was capable of winning them. You'd then give him five or six years without winning one before sacking him. But I meant yeah, to sit here was, after after four years different. and be contemplating whether I would sack Arteta for not winning either of them, having started with the squad that he started with. W. Okay. W's, First of all, your timelines are completely wrong because you're looking at the Klopp timeline, the the timeline after the four years. We're looking at Arteta's first four years. That's the difference. Klopp, in a period of four years, won the Champions League and the Premier League, having spent less money than Arteta did, with a team that was way worse. The Arteta team that he first took over was better than the Klopp team that when he first took over. If I name you the Klopp first 11, it's embarrassing. It's, it's, there's a reason why we were eight. I think you're missing his question. I think you're missing his that, point, Khalas. Okay. I think you're missing okay, his Modo, point. Can I answer? No, no, but or you're missing. Getting... You're answering something else. No, no, I'm answering. I'm, I'm actually, not... I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't have to answer the question the way that Footy Judge Mo wants me to answer. No, 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 no. How... You're answering I the wrong question. He, let, he me didn't say... let me answer. If you interrupt me again, I promise I'm going to mute. I'm not going to answer. Top okay, right. because I'm literally I'm getting to the point that you want me to get to. So stop interrupting me every Top three words. Okay, thank you very much. The club timeline at the start is his first four years. You cannot compare Klopp's last four years to Arteta's first four years, because that's the argument here. Jurgen Klopp has already shown in his first four years the ability to win a Champions League and a Premier League, which Arteta hasn't. You get? So that's the difference. So you're comparing, you're looking at the two different timelines. You're looking at Klopp's last four years versus Arteta's first four years. That's not how it works. You have to compare their first four years, which are, Klopp was successful actually winning four trophies, not just one, not just two, including the Club World Cup and the Super Cup. So, yeah. And had he and had he not won those when he did, you'd have sacked him? Had he not won those, of course. Had we not, had we not won those, then yes, it's a completely different argument. The year, we, so like, the, the, to so get Zidane, yeah. So the year you won, if he hadn't won... The, the year you won the Champions League, if he didn't win it, you'd have sacked him. No, no, no. That's not the point. I'm saying within that period, had we not won the Champions League or the Premier League, I would have, uh, yes, gotten rid of him for Zidane in that period of time. Okay. However, it didn't happen and we won. And the Klopp-Arteta thing is not a conversation because Klopp has been successful. Arteta has I, the... I think it's a conversation. No, it's not a conversation How's it at not all. not a conversation? I'll tell you how it's not a conversation. So we can once only again, have the Klopp... conversation once Arteta wins something? Of course. Then how else well, can I well, compare the managers? What's that conversation? 
Sorry? Just comparing Klopp and Arteta in general. I think Klopp's left yeah. you in a mental state where you're two points off top with six games to go and you've completely thrown the towel in. I think that's a symptom of Jurgen Klopp and the way that he, you've handled title races against Man City. I've never seen such a weak mentality in, in all my life. That's actually mad because you saw weaker mentality last season when you're top of the league 93% of the time. When we were top of the league 93% of the time, one time we won it. And I'm the only one here who has a gold medal against yeah, Pep Guardiola. So yeah, Antonio Conte yeah. has won, so stop. Are you a Chelsea fan? I'm not. I'm correcting Do you. Do you just I'm play devil's correct. advocate for the fun I am, of it? I am, I am, you said I am the only one having yes, a gold medal. Yes, I'm not a Chelsea fan. So okay, so you said I am the only one. And I'm correcting a factual information. Antonio Conte has. A I'm the only one here who has okay, a gold say, medal against. He said Abbey. here. Here is good. I'm the only here one is here. Good. When you said here, oh, obviously is Rory good. is the one posing the question. Oh my God, you're so no. rattled for some reason. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm rattled because know. you just want to do devil's advocate and press. I me don't. For no I actually don't. You're not a Chelsea because... fan. Yes, I said no, no. I'm the, I'm the I only one here don't. who has a Pep guard, who has a gold medal against Pep. He, you don't have a gold medal against Pep because you support He Pep. screams again. He screams again. You don't let us talk. Also, Rory you know asked a simple question. Rory, Rory asked with Kolarov no, in, in his first year. That's very disingenuous. I was answering. I was, answer, I was correcting you. Okay. Number one, when Rory asked the question, he said from 2020 to 2024, that's four years. The starting point at that time for Jurgen Klopp is better than Arteta's starting point at that time. Four years gone by, and then you haven't won the league or the Champions League at that time. Yes. Would you have sacked him? Or would you be okay with your team only winning the Cups that you won? That's you see how I even answered that question, but you chose to okay. ignore it because it doesn't suit your narrative. I said that Jurgen Klopp has already shown the ability to beat Pep Guardiola. That's why I would not sack him. Despite it is a failure, the fact that we did not win the league or the All Champions right. League. Thank you, you for a it? clear answer. Well, it's a very simple answer that I've Thank answered Thank you for already. a clear answer. And yeah, then, that's why I said... And then Klopp you said the threshold is seven years. You said the threshold is seven years. Allah. That's why I said Klopp and Arteta can't be compared because one guy beat Pep and the other and actually was successful and the other guy isn't. So it's not a comparison. Okay, let me do the super chat because LB have to go and then we have been we've been here for a while and I appreciate everyone. Guys, I'm gonna respond to the super chat. If a super chat is directed to someone, we can definitely answer them, right? Because I know LB has a show in 10 minutes, right? And I'm sorry to keep you guys for long, but this conversation was very good. I didn't know that it's Rory's first time, by the way, on this LB and Sam thing. And I think it has been a success because Sam, look at his blood boiling. Look, my blood blood's not boiling more. My blood's not boiling. I just our club and Arteta is not a conversation, whatever way you want to look at it. That's just not a convo. I don't think it is, but fine. Because Arsenal fans are breaking their back we, right we, now to get the other club to their club. So yeah. All right. Obviously, Palmer hasn't done what Saka has in football, but Arsenal fans rubbishing the Saka debate is childish. Will obviously he'll be a convo very soon. Have we done this one already? You read it out, but we didn't discuss it. Yeah, okay, simple, uh, yeah, yeah, but simple. Hossam is gonna, me and Hossam has discussed this 50,000 times. Saka is being looked at in the league, different level than Cole Palmer. Saka has had 200 games, he's marked man to man, they're doubling on him. Cole Palmer has a freedom, doesn't have pressure. Wait until we see Cole Palmer in a title race where he's being marked man to man every single game, not facing a defender face. Saka never faces the defender face to face, Palmer does. I'm not rubbishing what Palmer did. Palmer has done fantastic. No, I agree with this. I, I was asked on Terrace. I was asked, and I said, Saka second, Palmer third. But I do think that in a few years' time, Palmer has the ability to overtake him. But he has to be playing at a higher level. He has to be, you know, this is why this is why Harry Kane, yeah, if he doesn't win anything, people look at his goals and numbers and be like, oh, it's all great and that. But in my opinion, he cannot be considered a truly elite level yes. um, sort of, professional until he wins stuff because doing it for Tottenham yeah and doing it uh, uh, but not winning anything is different because like I have the Aguero Kane debate pick an Aguero all day long because he's done it in title races he's yeah. done it in, 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 in for trophies you got to win stuff and that's the same with Palmer you know I just say this to Chelsea fans chill out man relax you're doing really well you need to get to a higher level before you can have in that debate, in my opinion. And I and I really want to because I want to back Palmer over Saka, but even I can't do that. Right Thank now. you, LB. That's why Bakai Saka in two years, if he doesn't win trophies at Arsenal, he has to go somewhere else, like Real Madrid or something, where he wins trophies. Genuinely, no agendas, by the way. Or a Liverpool. Like I'm I'm being genuinely honest here, and I have said that before. Bakai Saka is a very good player. 
he cannot just keep saying improvement, improvement. If they don't win trophies, Bukasaka, maybe also should get take the 100 million and let him go to Real Madrid where he wins trophies or something. Yeah, but it also works two ways, Mo. Arsenal could look at Saka and say, you're not delivering. We will get rid of you. Absolutely. People, people, 100%. people like to say, Saka should leave Arsenal. You're right. But maybe Arsenal should get rid of him in a few you're years right. if he's not delivering the goods. Thank you. You're very good argument. Saka would never play for Real Madrid, Mo. That's true. Yeah, Akil is saying, talking of Jorginho with suicide squad depth, Rory touched on that before. He, again, for some reason, Thomas Party didn't touch the pitch yesterday for whatever reason. I don't know it. I didn't yeah. know why, and I, I have no idea why Arteta chose that. Yeah, taking off Jorginho wasn't the mistake. Taking off Jorginho for Trossard was the mistake, not Thomas Partey, who for me should have started the game anyway. Yes. But we have no ball progression from midfield when we do that. Now, Akil is saying there is no evidence that we have improved this season. The only thing to improve from last season was composure and our April run, and so far we haven't. Very good, Super Chat. I disagree. I think they have improved, and I'm a City fan. Yeah. I, I think I, th I think one big improvement has been in the big games. You know, we got we got comfortably beaten yeah. by City in both games last season. Um, Liverpool and also, will beat them this season. Liverpool we beat. Um, I, we did beat them last season as well, to be fair. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think those are the games that we've improved. And also we've proven that we can at least get somewhere in the Champions League. Which All right. Frank is saying, I agree. It's all about learning for Arsenal. Maybe a rainbow forms <laughs> in the final season. Maybe a rainbow forms in the final day of the season. And you mean can celebrate friendship and love. You're taking it's all about the, the friends we made along the way, man. You're taking the piss, Frankie. You're taking the piss. Thank you. Appreciate it so much. <laughs> uh, guys, Arsenal just lose two games. Why all the questions to Rory? Very good. Why are Arsenal fans being put in an in interrogation room and questioning? Why? Why do you, you know how many games I've lost more? One in the Premier League, Crystal Palace. And I've been hey, getting get battered by Atalanta. Atalanta. It's Sam, the same stuff. What I'm about to put, I said to end the Premier League. It's a topping Atalanta battle. I said I said in the home. Premier League. So yeah, we've lost one. We lost one in the Premier League. Yeah, it's the same stuff. I'm getting interrogated over the last week as well. It's what happens when your big club was expected to win. I'll tell you what, Hussam, you're being interrogated because Klopp is leaving. If Klopp, I'm, I'm, I'm telling, I'm saying it here now. If Klopp wasn't leaving uh, Liverpool, nobody would have questioned Liverpool this season. Transition year. No, nah, I disagree with you. I disagree with you. You would have. You would have. But I promise you. No, I think you no, would have, people would have. You were not would. even in contention to win the league in the beginning of the season, Hossam. Nobody sat here in the beginning of the season. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. They, this, this whole narrative, More by the way, is BS. Too many Liverpool people like to sit here on YouTube right. now and say, oh, no one had Liverpool in a title race this year. Actually, quite a fucking lot of people did. Yeah, me and Quite a lot of people did. As well. Yeah. So let, let's drop that act that this is some miracle from Liverpool. Yeah. Now, did I expect Liverpool to win it? No. But I did expect Liverpool to be up here in a title race. So let, let's stop this where everyone thought that Liverpool was just going to go right. to the top four or something. Can That's I answer BS. him? Hussam in the beginning of the season said, if we don't sign Caicedo, we aren't in the title. We aren't going to win the league. The fact that you say we aren't going to win the league. See, now mean, don't lie. Don't lie. Listen, more. Let me, let me, uh, can I, uh, lied on my name. There's no listen. Stop I, lying. I never, no. I never, I never lied. Right. The second it, statement that, is correct. I said we wait. won't win the league. Okay, just wait. I said we'd the be fact, in the title race. The fact that someone says that you can't, that you're not going to win the league, you don't believe. Well, you said Arsenal will win the league, right? That means you believe that Arsenal will be in the title race. It's just a correlation, Habibi. If I sit it's here, it's not and a say, correlation. The difference between being in the title race and not. You are not the winning. one. You are the one who called Spurs imposters because you asked one question. Are you going to win the league? Do you have a chance of winning the league? When they answer no, you say that's why you're an imposter. Allah if Allah if you said, oh, Sam, let me finish. Oh, Sam, let me finish. Please. Okay, as long as I get to respond. But if you, you move get, on you get, it, you get to respond to whatever. You. But you cannot okay. respond before I finish my argument, right? Okay, no problem. Here. You yeah. can, you can, uh, thank you. You muted. Okay. Hussam said in the beginning of the season that I don't think Liverpool will win the league unless we sign Casado. And when they didn't sign Casado, he said, I don't think we'll win the league. The fact that he says that, means he doesn't believe his team will win the league, which is the same guy that asked Spurs fans one question. Do you believe you'll win the league? And when they said no, he told them you're imposters. Because if you don't believe you'll win the league, that means you aren't in a title race. Same logic applies to Liverpool. If you don't believe you can win the league, that means you aren't in a title race. Simple. I'm done. Over. Guys, once again, Footy Judge Mo has proven he's willing to lie 
in order for for you know for to just rattle someone on on the stream or annoy him or whatever nothing annoys me quoting me and saying something i didn't say go watch the sava debate it's available on youtube i debated on him football terrace clips go check it football terrace Hussam versus sava i said will you challenge for the league i actually made a bet and this is the thing that mo thinks he thinks he's too smart for me he may I, I made a bet that if spurs challenge for the league i will actually sing come on you spurs and i'll dye my hair white there's a difference between the word challenge and win thank you very much all right thank you Hossam. So I, I, I gotta go man i gotta go I got yes yeah go ahead I'm, re I'm redirecting to lb guys i'm redirecting ah, to lb all right big shot man. Big up, thank LB you guys. And see you there we're just gonna finish this and then we'll we'll go to we'll finish this rory go left uh the coach gave party zero minutes um hold Jorginho getting bypassed for 65 minutes then say party's not fit he's not fit to play 45 minutes rory i agree i wanted to start thomas Partey. people said it would be a risk but we knew what we saw with Jorginho last week so i'd have started Partey. and look Ultimately, if he's not good enough to even get a, a single minute in a game like that for the player that he's meant to be, he's got to go in the summer. It's pointless yes. having him. Yes. Martin is saying, LB reaction was quality. Yeah, LB reaction to the Zidane thing is, has to be clipped. <laughs> it has to be clipped. Absolutely. Uh, Akil is saying, does Arteta have your... I don't know. No nudes? No. <laughs> Zidane is fire. But no, to be he honest, was... Akil, he literally explained why he doesn't want Zidane. So, it's to be I'll fair, take him next yeah. summer. Yeah. Ryan, wait, should Rory replace Arteta with Klopp if he was offered the chance? If it's crazy, no. he wouldn't you, you wouldn't replace Arteta with Klopp. I wouldn't replace Arteta with Klopp, no. Okay. Here's your answer, Ryan. It's crazy if he wouldn't. It's so the worst opinion in YouTube history. I'm gonna let that go. I mean Klopp's proven Klopp's proven that he can win one Premier League in how many years? Nine? Nine Mr. Years? Context for Arsenal wants to do out of context for Liverpool. That's the funny part. How many Premier League titles has Jurgen Klopp won? No, that's fine. We, uh, Jurgen Klopp has won something that your club has never won since no, no. its inception. Let okay. me let me let me just teach you what actual progression is. Fourth, fourth in a Champions League final, winning the Champions League, winning the Premier League. That's progression. Four year period. And you then want to see after four that? years? That's how we 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 done that. Yeah, that's fine. After that, but that has nothing to do with him. I know this is the I think this is not this is probably what the second or third time we worked with each other, but you know, I'm obviously very against my ownership. Uh, I don't know if you saw the FSG out plane that flew over Anfield 7 0 against Manchester United. I was the one uh, with someone else that was responsible for actually funding that and getting that to fly over Anfield despite us winning 7 0. So, yeah, that has right. nothing to do with club. You cannot do context when you like it for your own no, but club. I can't say how many, how many, how many Premier League clubs are You're what? talking Nine. about. Can we not speak about each other, please? We You're talking about Pep Guardiola, Guardiola bankrolling money. We never even spent the money that Arsenal spent this summer to begin with. We never even spent the Arsenal money to begin with. Uh, so no. let's let's not do that. We won the Champions League, proceeded to sign Harvey Elliott, Seb van der Berg, and Adrian. Oh, yeah, that's decent. So, um, but no, Klopp's won what? One Premier League in nine years. Yes. Yes. Do I think Arteta is capable of winning more than one Premier League in the next five years and therefore surpassing Klopp in the space of nine years? Yes, I do. Okay. So that's but, but it's a that. simple answer. It's all about belief. Then it's all about belief. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. My one is actually based on what I saw. One is based on how Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 by the way, there is nothing he just believed. Yeah, it's fine. Listen, yeah. there were United fans who thought Ten Hag is gonna win them a league. Now they want him out. It's fine. We'll see. Yeah. Time will tell. Fries is saying so oh, okay, so Hussam, just simple, a simple, simple. Do you think Arteta is capable of winning a league title in the next five years or two? It's a yes or no. By means. the way, some people don't know, some people say no. A lot of people, by the I way, don't know. Based, based on this season, I thought they'd win it this season, but the fact that they haven't won it this season when it was in their hands, I don't know anymore. Opinions might differ. Just by the way, to be honest, there is no wrong opinion here. There he is, might uh, just have a mental block. I don't know. Yeah, there is no wrong opinion. In my opinion, I actually talk with Northside, Lee, Rory, uh, and Dan Potts. Some people really believe that Arteta can win, and some people believe he can't. And by the way, that it's not only this season. Uh, Hussam, for example, and also Hussam, to be fair to Hussam, Hussam changed his mind. Like Hussam in the beginning of the season said, this is Arteta's year. He's going to win the league. Some people just can change their opinion. Prize is saying, I'm sorry for this loser mentality. 
to say that you will be happy finishing Champions League semi-final and Premier League more points. Your expectation should be ma winning major trophies or changing the manager. Well, you do you and I'll do me. I have, a re I have realistic expectations rather than just fantasy. I understand the way football works and therefore I don't make irrational decisions. All right. These are answer price. Just, again, different people. Ryan is saying, Hussam, random question, but why do you defend McAllister so much after two, <laughs> two, two crap performances in a row? But slander Indo, who has been playing excellently before. I don't think McAllister's had two crap performances in a row. I think you watch football from your asshole right there. Ryan, you always try to dunk on Hussam, and you and Hussam have this strange relationship. On, on, on this is football and, and footy judge more. It's very strange. Dylan, Arsenal spent less than the triple winners, spent it badly, but Arsenal should win the league and Arteta should be sacked if he doesn't. Cool, bro. Another uh, argument. Who spent it bad? But, but I don't even think it was spent badly in general. Havertz, maybe we should have got him for 40 million. If we got Havertz for 40 million, I don't think anyone talks about it. So maybe we misspent 25 million. Because yes. I think Declan Rice was bang on, Timber was bang on, David Ryer, I think, has proven that it was why well, we haven't even bought him technically yet. But so 25 million, but, you know. Sean, so Arsenal can only move forward if Arteta is the manager. This process sound, it's about Arteta, not Arsenal. No one said that. Well, Sean, the, the problem is when people say that only Arteta can improve this team, this is where I disagree. Because I believe other managers can get good output from this team but it will be a risk it, and as long as they progress they don't have to sack him this is the thing he, he's saying that my he's basically misunderstanding my opinion yes that he thinks i think only arteta could progress the club and that is not true i think there are probably plenty of managers that could progress the club but my belief is arteta is the best position to do that and is the least risky option to do that because he's proving already that he can do it Ryan is saying, LB speaking facts, Hussam speaking the most shite as usual. LB, you have to tutor this Hussam guy about the sport. Hussam finds some shame. I can't remember which part was it. Uh, this is the same it? guy that said Lukaku is better than Mo Salah. He said uh, McAllister is just an Argentinian Harry Winks. If I state your shit opinions, Ryan, I will be here till tomorrow. So let's not do that. You've been Ryan. embarrassed many times. JJ is saying, fans kill Saka about 100 million rice, not killed. Why? Yeah, why Why nobody's criticizing uh, uh, Declan Rice a little bit lately in the last two games? I think there has been a bit of criticism. I think he definitely uh, looks fatigued. I think the the biggest thing is he needs a partner in midfield. The amount of, the amount of work he has to do, especially to cover Jorginho's lack of athleticism, um, but but my main thing would be I don't think the amount of criticism aimed at Saka is justified. So it's more that Saka should be getting less rather than Rice should be getting more. Uh, I'll tell you what the problem is. It's some Arsenal fans putting Saka on a higher pedestal than what he actually is instead of treating him as a 22 years old that is playing in a club like Arsenal still in the in the rebuild process. I think that's the problem. But the problem is as well, those people that put him on that pedestal Will also be the first ones that flip to putting it to burying him completely. These are the fans no. that are just emotional at both ends of the spectrum. Okay. That's the problem. Rory's point is that Arteta is expected to be perfect, best value for signing, no off games, while City can normally make mistakes and still win, regardless because they are far ahead. He's explaining your point. Yeah, but but again, Jaden, that's unacceptable though. That that shouldn't be accepted. Like. Nobody told you to lose against who did you against Aston Villa at home having that shit second half. Arsenal literally could have been 2-0 up at half time, and we would be sitting here saying your favorites, it's, especially that you're gonna be out of the Champions League. It goes both ways, people. Oh, Hossam sounds like an Arsenal fan with Wenger. Failed four years after having success. Klopp is leaving at the right time. We need a fresh uh change. So okay. Yeah, Wenger I, only went uh, 20 years without winning anything, but yeah. Ryan, I, I get what you're yet. saying, but not, not also quite. Klopp is rebuilding the club. I didn't expect Klopp to leave, Ryan, to be honest with you. Uh, NGA Games is saying, I would give Klopp two more years max. 
We don't talk about projection of the new side because Klopp is leaving. But if he wasn't, we'd say the next year is the year. Would you yeah. would you agree, Hossam, with this? Next year would be like if Klopp wasn't leaving next year. Everything depends on the transfers for us. That's it. Yeah. Very simple. Sign okay. the good enough players, you will. But that's you Arsenal's. Don't. But that's Arsenal's argument that their squad is not ready. So it depends on the summer window as yeah, well. But the only problem is that was Arsenal's argument last season as well. So yeah. that's just it's just a never-ending cycle of repeating the same stuff. That's the issue. So like last season, we said next year is going to be the year where Arsenal do this and do that. And then they went on to sign Rice and Partey and Kewior and Raya and Havertz and all this shit. But they haven't ended up winning. And I'm keeping, I'm saying the same stuff about both clubs. I think both clubs have failed this season because it's just City are not incredible like what we're used to. No, they and aren't. They, they aren't. Yeah, this is not Centurion 98 point, or, or last season City, by the way. He's yeah, but this isn't this even last season City. Yeah, yeah. They're very beatable. We only have ourselves to blame. The guy doesn't know his starting 11, bro. Pep Guardiola. He just doesn't. Every game is different. We yeah. have definitely bottled the title this season, but we definitely didn't in our previous title races versus Pep. This is disingenuous story. And we won the Champions League in 1819. I mean, that's again, that's just how you'll be held to a different standard of Arteta. It wouldn't have matter what points we'd actually ended up on this season. If we'd ended up on 97 points and Pep ended up on 98 points and we dropped points anywhere within the final 15 games, people would have called that Arsenal bottling it. So that's just holding Arsenal to a different standard that you'd hold your own club to. The fact that you lost. No, you're actually the one who's holding your club to a different standard because you're the one that keeps talking about context and points and all this. But you fail to mention that in the club two years that he finished second, he was one point behind Manchester City with 90 plus points in both years. Uh, so why, but why it, but, using your but, logic, but, uh, that should be considered a success? Well, it was. I would never at that time have said that Klopp should be sacked or that they bottled it. This is what I'm saying. Okay. I thought I thought they were massively overachieving, even competing with City at the time. So okay. I mean, I wasn't making content back then, but Fair. that's the difference. Greetings, more to your Arsenal guest. My his name is Rory. His channel is in the description. Self awareness is important. Exhibit A: twenty two twenty three Premier League title race. Yeah, I'm sorry that Rob Holding wasn't capable of seeing out the title race. You know? oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Um, what, what do you Rob want Holding. them to do? Saliba, you, you Hussam, do? me and you sat here and said if Saliba wasn't injured, we believe that Arsenal would have won the league. That's poor That's management from the management overall that they didn't sign a centre back. No one told him to play Saliba against Sporting Lisbon. That's not my fault. Nobody's saying it's your fault. It's just context. I believe and I live in reality. Crazy flip flop. I, I, Dan Carlito. I, I don't get this, but thank you, Dan. I believe, but it's it's all about belief. Anyway, guys. Two hours of a show, <laughs> cracking show to be honest. Cracking show, uh, it's amazing. Hussein, this is football, guys. I want to tell you guys something today. This is football, it's gonna be live. Atalanta, watch along. We got Atalanta, we got Atalanta, Atalanta, watch along. And this is football, and also MHF after, and then El Ahwa 11 with Hamza, Saad, and everyone. That will be fire, of course. At 11, this is football. Rory Talks Football, 6 30 UK time, guys, in the description. Um, it's absolutely great, great content from Rory. Daily updates about Arsenal, calm and composed. And also, this will take you to LB and Dan. You know LB and Dan. That will be a fire show. And uh, thank you, guys. I want to thank Sam. Thank Rory. Thank everybody. First time working together. Fire show. And we'll see you guys soon. I enjoyed it. And we're out of here.